name the kitten either. No, yeah. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Greg Hahn is with us. Hey, all right. Good. Hey. Uh, <laughs> hey. Love being here. You're a single guy. Yeah, single guy. You know what? And let me tell you something about it. I think women should approach the men in our society. That would cut way back in rejection if they hit on us, wouldn't it? Yeah, uh-huh. absolutely. Because I'm not picking with a girl's opening line. I don't care what she has to say. Whatever she wants to do, the answer is yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> she doesn't have to be smooth and cool. You know, she can come walking up. Peanut butter makes me gassy. Well, pull up a chair. <laughs> back off. This babe is mine. Because <laughs> our lines are the worst. The guys, we're so, are those your eyes? Or does somebody take the stars from heaven and jam them into your face? Or your head is <laughs> are your feet tired? Because mine are stinky. Wait a minute. That's not how it goes. <laughs> you like the guy with a tattoo? I don't have one, but I do have a great big rash that will not go away. <laughs> it's shaped exactly like Pennsylvania. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the babes. All right. Babes, babes are it. fun, man. They dig it. You know what? I'm a little older. And still, I'm a single guy. I like being single, being older, because I know the games that the women play. Mm. They play hard to get. Uh-huh. But I see right through it. I'll go walking into a club, and I'll think... Look at that girl trying to get my attention by making out with that guy. <laughs> I'll work my way over to you. Don't panic. <laughs> Staring me down with the back of her head. I'll get I'm amazed. You. Seriously, I'm amazed at how far the ladies will go to make a man jealous. One girl I used to date is now married. She has four kids. <laughs> I'm not coming back. She needs to get on with her life. Sad. Because I'm dating other girls now, man. Good. I dated a girl recently. She was pushy. Pushy, pushy. Uh-huh. Like, look, for the 400th time, no, I do not want a breath mint. That's <laughs> <laughs> I'm cooking. I'm cooking in here. All right. All right. I don't have time for laughs. I got a show to do. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Greg Hahn is our guest. <laughs> I went out with this one girl. Can I say this? Yeah. Sure. Get a load of this. I'm on a date. I was out with this girl. Right? Here's what she says. It's true. She says, oh, I did something she didn't like. She goes, oh, you just lost some points. <laughs> oh, there's points involved. <laughs> That's a point system that the women have. It's a point system. Men, we don't know what's going on. All we know is it involves points, and all of a sudden, we're down. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was doing my impression of her mother. <laughs> She's like, oh, you just lost some points. I'm like, really, how many did I start out with? <laughs> Don't ask any questions. You're just going to lose more points. Well, transfer my account to your younger sister. <laughs> no way, it's your mom again. <laughs> You're talking to a guy that could blow through a lot of points in a hurry. Up here, right? <laughs> anyway. Yes, sir. We just got a call from Tony the Yodeling Shetland Pony. He can't be here tonight. He's a little horse. Come on, everybody. <laughs> Come on. Just beat me halfway on some of this junk. All right. Tony the Yodeling. He's a little horse. Tony the Yodeling Shetland Pony. Shetland Pony. Well, I speak on behalf of many uh, citizens in the track of totality from yesterday's total eclipse. My life has changed. I can't believe it. Really? My God, it was spectacular. It was. It was un... It was... I can't tell you. Are the... Uh, I haven't had a chance to look. Are the stories about people being pickpocketed rolling in on the international uh, No, Thousands. Not. Thousands of people. Wow. Uh, that's according to Ace. He's told me thousands of people are yeah. pickpocketed. Yeah. Hi, good morning. Welcome to the Bob and Tom Show. That's Christy Lee. Hi. Working on her beverage over there. There's uh, Pat Godwin. Hello, Chick. Hi there. There's uh, Josh Arnold. Chickster. Is your cat okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah, great. Because we had an email yesterday that cats explode during a total Yeah, oh, they, oh, that that's can right. happen. Yeah. yeah but yeah. Uh, she does not carry that gene, the oh. uh, eclipse exploding gene. <laughs> Good. So, that's so yeah. nice to Goodness. hear. Goodness. My dog slept through it. <laughs> they just... Hey, I took one of my dogs with me. Nonplussed? Uh, yeah, it d- didn't matter. <laughs> Our neighbor, my dear, her dogs went nuts. Really? Yeah. Really? Huh. But maybe it's just because one started barking and then the others started barking, but they were going crazy. Here's Ace, yes? My cat was sitting in the window. Oh, mm-hmm. knew, knew something was up, huh? 
I don't know. I just looked. Oh, weird. it was astonishing, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, was. It, it, it was stunning. Yes, it. I just. Yes. I, I mean, I'm being serious. I. I get I, why people travel now. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I get go it see too. it. I yeah. had the, I had the glasses, and it, you could see it start, and then my I had no idea. My neighborhood went nuts when the corona came out. It, it like yeah. sounded like a rock concert. I had no idea we were all standing around at different houses. Right. I didn't see anybody, but boy, I heard him. I was surrounded by little kids who were all screaming and jumping <laughs> up and down. Yes, yeah, you were. I bet. <laughs> and then the sun them. came back, and they all went nuts. Yeah. Well, then they, yeah, then they went swimming. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, sure. And I didn't realize you didn't need your glasses for the totality. No, yeah, you no, can take you them off. In fact, you yeah. had to to yes. see anything. But, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, right. It was, uh, oh, oh, was insane. So cool. those glasses, I, I tried driving with them after the thing. <laughs> wow. Yeah. A, yeah, I mean, I can't, see, I can't see anything with no. those things. I like a dark lens, but, but that's, really, that's that's seriously. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we do have a report on um, eye doctors and ophthalmologist the day after i guess oh the really term okay. why i uh, google searched yesterday why my eyes hurt yeah <laughs> went way up yeah we have a yeah. we, have, we have some stats <laughs> uh, well, we'll find out about all those exciting things yeah it was uh, quite a quite an event mm -hmm. and uh there'll be another one uh, where is the next one uh, montana or something i I don't know something like 2026 that. there's another one but it's iceland greenland and parts of spain but the okay. next one in the North America won't be till 2045. Really? Yeah, totality. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I, I didn't, I'm with you, Joe. I didn't get why people traveled to see these things until yesterday. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Same here. It's uh, it, it was, was amazing. Just, yeah, we amazing. were blessed to yeah. be able to just be here, but just crazy. Oh boy, oh boy. Kind of a, um, one of the few things sort of a, uh, embracing commonality in our culture. Very, very few things are that we can all talk about other than the Super Bowl. Uh, and the, the, um, I don't know if that was it. it was Just what? everybody enjoying so the same yesterday. moment. I don't yeah. think that would Everybody's added nice. anything to my experience. Well, that's because you don't understand the big picture. That's uh, you were missing my point utterly. I'll talk to the rest no, of you. No, you. Uh, um, I think it's uh, one of the few things that everyone had in common. I, I don't think that. I also sort of disagree don't. because only some got totality. Yeah, or most a very most small not, part so. of. The, Lead story in virtually every. <laughs> uh, okay, um, the, the, uh, this is the record Jeff for this mood TV. at this time of day for like six shows now. It's amazing. Okay. It's well, just amazing. Uh, here, here, here he goes. No, 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 no. You uh, mm, uh, missing the point is pretty much your thing. I, I, the, I hate uh, to disagree with you. I'm uh, taking my life in my hands. I realize that. But so you don't I, think there was a certain commonality? I that, think there was. Yeah. Phrased that way, I don't think it added to my experience knowing every there were people also enjoying it. Gotcha. <laughs> you do though, because I'm, I'm a little. Uh, you have your pool open already? No, no. I was at a friend's house there. <laughs> they, had a, they had a they had something that had broken on their pool, so they had to have it fixed. And the guy said, "Well, while I'm here, I might as well open it up." Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. no, yeah, I was like, check no, the open no, no, listings, no, no. but that's a little early. No, I didn't. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Okay. That was terrific. Uh, and now, um, like I said, my dog. I had one of the dogs with me. I thought I'll see what happened. They didn't couldn't have cared. I was on a I was on a horse farm, and they put all the horses up, and all the dogs in the kennels. They were kind of concerned. Oh. But there's the lady that owns the farm is one of my dearest friends, but she's a little. So silly. nothing happened. Nothing saying. happened. Okay. The horses didn't make a noise. I couldn't believe it. Well, they've had storms roll in before where See, it gets that's dark. That's kind of what I thought. It, and, to uh, them, it probably looked yeah, like just a storm coming. They're going, when do we eat again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what my dog said to me. Hey, is this as cool? Uh, is it time for dinner yet? Yeah, I think animals know not to stare at the sun, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> not, not, all, not all people do. Right. right. Why they'll be a, <laughs> do you want to do this story now? Sure. What do Google you got? Google searches for the phrase, eyes hurt spike during the solar eclipse. According to the Wall Street Journal, search term like eyes hurt, my eyes hurt, saw a significant uptick around the time the moon began to pass between the earth and the sun. Eye-related pain searches were concentrated in states like Maine, Rhode Island, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Indiana, Arkansas, and Texas. In other words, right in the path of totality. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, the, some of the other big searches were, um, are Ray-Bans good at eclipse glasses? <laughs> oh, my. No. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, well, I... Uh, it was fun. I, it this, was fun. They have a similar, I think the, some of the Google search, I always find that interesting. It's like the thing, those stats they have for Pornhub during the Super Bowl and what mm -hmm. happens at halftime and who watches. 
Oh, I wonder what Pornhub looked like during the eclipse. Oh, I hope people were not. Awesome. Numbers must have been down. Way down. I would, right? yeah, okay. I, I would now, think. I, I found, well, for, for example, event. I was uh, going from one place to another about a half hour before. <laughs> you won't find this surprising. He was busy in a car before half the hour eclipse. Half before? I was at my uh, class. I Cutting had. it kind of close. The, uh, but the, th there was no traffic <laughs> whatsoever. None. Well, of course. No traffic. Crazy light yesterday. Oh, that's yeah, interesting. I, yeah, everybody was nice. Oh, I was. I, I kind of didn't know what to expect traffic wise, and it, there was. So you were out driving too, right before the eclipse? About an hour before. Oh. Yeah, same here. It was nothing, and then oh. right after, big traffic. Oh, ah. okay. Not where I was. I've said this before. That I think the traffic people that uh, who give us tra traffic reports should follow you around <laughs> because that's where all the snarls and the backups are. <laughs> Uh, right where uh, Tom is most of the no, no, time. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. so glad you made it to see the... It was great. Although uh, that would have been great if he'd caught... I was stuck in traffic. <laughs> you think missed that, the eclipse. Starbucks do you think that... drive through. <laughs> do you think that... Um, let's see how do I word this. That eclipses are to uh, ophthalmologists, eye doctors, what... Oh. Um, Potholes are to tire stores. Oh. Mm. Is this going to be a big day at the uh, ophthalmology departments? I don't know. People. Or like uh, fruit roll ups are to dentists. Hey, yeah, yeah. Very, very good. Yeah. Can they yeah. fix that? I did some it research. Just... It doesn't look like they can. It burns it. That's what I thought. Some, some temporarily, they say, but mostly it's. Wow. Well, it's oh. permanent? It's the macula that gets. Oh. Yeah. I bet, I'm sure someone has a good deal on white canes and German <laughs> shepherds today. Uh, well, uh, no. the other big story yesterday, of course, was men's college basketball. Yeah. Yes, we had it last night. Uh, UConn wins their sixth in uh, 25 years. The Huskies uh, smothered Purdue 75-60 last night. Uh, UConn, the first team since 2007 to capture back-to-back -back national championships in men's basketball. Tristan Newton, they call him Fig. <laughs> they would have to, right? Yeah. Tristan Newton. <laughs> call him uh, Fig. Isaac. Fig Newton. I Ike mm. Newton. Gravity. He was named the most outstanding player, Tom. He got the mop. Well, and then I don't <laughs> recognize it. The MV MVP would be more appropriate. It's like uh, the Oscar goes to instead of the winner is. Why did they change that? Because they have to change it's a, everything. It's a better... <laughs> they can't stand it. <laughs> it's a better way. Outstanding's <laughs> better than valuable? No, mop. No, it's not, it doesn't demean others by saying most outstanding. It doesn't by saying most valuable either. No, it, it doesn't. It, it, it implies the most most valuable implies. I mean, okay. I mean, mop is just a bad word. Mop implies somebody used to clean up. They'd be like, uh, he's been declared turd. The universally <laughs> revered <laughs> defense player. <laughs> the, yeah, I was going to say, that's a defense award. <laughs> no, it's just stupid. They, they ever this they, someone gets their fingers and stuff and they have to change it around. It's like when they said Pluto's not a planet. It's a dwarf planet. No, it's not. It's a planet. <laughs> I thought it was a ball of ice. Where are we on this? I don't know. Uh, I think Pluto's a planet and he's also a dog in the Disney realm and I'm yeah, very happy about it. Boilermaker fans are sad, but we made it at least that far, so her defense um, was just incredible. No, no. I I want to perk Josh up. We have OnlyFans news for you today, buddy. <laughs> okay. so, All right. The, the insinuation was that I was in a bad mood, yeah. and he thought, to, yeah, yeah. which I wasn't. No, not at all. And you know what puts me in a bad mood? You're, you're not in a bad mood. The suggestion that I am in one. You're not the one. That's and then here, I'll cheer you up by uh, just uh, the feeding the role I've given you of uh, yeah, yeah. serial masturbator slash pervert. <laughs> and when I say serial masturbator, I mean with a bowl of cereal. That's yeah. the only way a boy. you could possibly Nothing do like it. Always mention <laughs> food. <laughs> Cornflakes and semen. <laughs> is it OnlyFans? Is it Eclipse related? Uh, no. no, although I would that th that would be interesting. Yeah, I wonder I've, if anyone. I've, I would almost imagine there's some OnlyFans like person that did some kind of eclipse-related right. right. beavage or something. <laughs> beavage during the uh, during the event. Uh, wow! Uh, right now, um, did you watch the eclipse from your home? With I, your... I I found out I could watch it from both. I have a skylight in the uh, in the compound, and I could see the sun through the skylight. And I also uh, went outside a couple times. It was really something now. Oh, cool at the uh, at the compound. It was busy because uh, also I have peace of mind because I have Simply Safe, the design it yourself, do it yourself, home security. So nobody system. picked your pocket because you have no, Simply Safe. I was staying inside because I heard that pickpockets yes. were going to be rampant during the eclipse. So we're uh -huh. still keeping an eye out for those stories. We're going to have those when we just wait. We're just yeah, He's right. Yeah, it's going to happen because we're. <laughs>
<laughs> well, you know, the Internet can verify anything, so that's going to... Uh, you know, <clears throat> Simply Safe voted uh, Best Home Security System of 2024 by a U.S. News World Report and Newsweek awarded Simply Safe Best Customer Service. Uh, Simply Safe has uh, sensors to detect break ins, fires, floods, uh, high definition indoor and outdoor cameras, keep watch day and night, 24 7 professional monitoring, less than a dollar a day, and Simply Safe professional monitoring. Help stop crime in real time by speaking to intruders through the wireless indoor camera, warning them that they are being recorded and police are on their way. And Simply Safe, no contract ever in a 60 day money back guarantee. Try Simply Safe risk free. And if you don't love it, which I've never heard of, send the system back for a full refund. Uh, Simply Safe, we have a deal for you. Get 20% off. Any new Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect monitoring, just visit simplysafetom.com. That's simplysafetom.com. Remember, there's no safe like Simply Safe. Got a cool dog story coming up. 100 dogs loose in a mall. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, and then a guy who faked his death in the news. All and right. um, if you're getting a uh, octopus for a pet, uh, well, <laughs> you'll find out why. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Now, Greg, have you ever been in a band? Uh, I was in a band. I played one song in the high school band. Yeah? What yeah. was that? Uh, 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 it was a Spyro Gyro tune uh -huh. called Catching the Sun. It's <laughs> a good story right there. Is that the hey, song? everybody, storm into your boss's office right now. Tell him what this company needs is a trampoline. <laughs> 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 oh. Now, have you ever considered incorporating the drums into your act? Maybe you could uh, tell one of your uh, <laughs> stories or jokes and then do a quick rim shot? Yeah, I'll do that sometime. Sure, okay. sure. Uh -huh. sure, sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe, you could, maybe we could try it with one of your... Uh, do, you, do you remember your suggestions for uh, excuses for being late to work? Uh, sorry I'm late, boss! I hate it here, so what's the rush? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a that's kind of a long rim shot. The, the rim shot was longer than the joke. I, I think. like my joke so much. I don't do a rim shot. I do a whole solo. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Any I'm more? Dating, I'm dating this one girl. She loves Picasso and Mexican food. Talk about artsy fartsy. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. One stick down. <laughs> Find another. Uh, Greg Hahn is uh, he's, uh -huh. he's getting another another drum We're stick. Back. What was what was the name All of right. what was the name of your band that did the Spyro Gyro song? Did you have a name for the band? Uh, oh well, you're gonna like this name. The Cardinal Given Redskins. <laughs> <laughs> high school jazz band. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, so it was the marching band then. Uh, no, no. Oh, the marching band. I'm glad you brought that up. Did, did you march with the drum? Did you did you carry the big drum when you marched, or did you carry the snare? I was in the tritoms. I had the tritoms. Uh -huh. With oh. the spinning head. Ooh. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so, you want a little marching? A little marching? You want sure. the marching vibe? No, so sure. I, can I just make a suggestion for your live show? Oh, yeah. Um, what's that? Maybe I think you'd probably be the only guy doing this. Uh, I, it, wouldn't be, it might be kind of like a prop thing, but you come out <laughs> uh, halfway through your show with those marching drums and... Or uh, maybe come onto the stage with the marching yeah. drums. <laughs> You'd be After you're introduced, hey. march on up there. With the tritop? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. It's Greg Hahn. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd's going wild. I can hear them. I think that's kind of a long walk to the yeah, stage. Are you, are you, are you, how, far, how far is it from the side of the stage yeah, that's, that's to the a, mic? It's a big club, I'm Tom. I'm playing an arena, 8,000 okay. seats. Uh -huh. He's coming from the back. Mm. You're going to need some new material. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ouch. Oh, no, I mean, it's 80,000 people. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, but we have to take a break. Oh, look at that. Okay. Uh, Greg Hahn and the drums, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Right, thanks so much. I want to hear some more. Well, can, we, uh, can we come back with more? Is, is there more? Sure, I can play the drums all day. <laughs> I'll take a solo from now until we close the show. All right.
Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Hi everybody, Christy Lee from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcasts. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. I hope these kids don't get their mother's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> She's got a smile like Count Chocula. <laughs> Tom, she could chew through coaxial cable. <laughs> Take her four hours to eat an ear of corn, I'm telling you. And believe me, Bob, I am delighted people donated baby food and diapers. I'm just hoping a dentist steps up to the plate. We're going to take fertility drugs. My God. And we're going to keep all seven because it's God's will. Bull crap. God's will was for you to have zero. You screwed it up. You know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend, it's just a woman on a bus. So that's how you know you're too high. All day, all night, all Bob and Tom. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We all made it through Pickpock Eclipse 2024. <laughs> yes, we did. Time for our first letter. That's right. I think perhaps because I warned people about pickpockets. Uh -huh. You might have, oh. uh, yes, you might Prevented have uh, prevented uh, how many pickpockets yesterday <laughs> during, during the eclipse. You're exactly right. Here's our dear chick. I hope you all survive Pickpock Eclipse uh, 2024. Tell Tom I spent way too much time this morning combing the international newswire for stories of pickpocketing, <laughs> but I couldn't find any. Well, it's because we warned people. Because Tom warned people, that's right. Anyway, keep up the great work, you numbskulls. You're doing, uh, you're making everyone laugh in the morning. Oh, that's That's nice. Matt from Grand Chute, Wisconsin. Never heard of Grand Chute. S-H-O-O-T? C-H-U-T-E. Okay, cool. Oh. It's shoot, like shoot. Okay, well, there you go, like parachute. <laughs> like the back end. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Matt. Appreciate We're you listening. We're going to shoot on her, you know. Hey. Oh. Yeah. Um, well, uh, we'll uh, catch up if we have any more follow-ups on the great eclipse of 2024. But uh, right now, we turn to the sports page. Uh, UConn uh, over Purdue last night, 75-60. They did it with uh, defense and uh, would not let Purdue uh, get uh, anything off in three-point range. Zach Eady had 37 of Purdue's 60. Tristan Newton of UConn named the most outstanding player. He scored 20 for the Huskies. They won their 12th straight March Madness game. You heard me. And since 1999, they've won six championships uh, not a single one of their uh, tournament victories fewer than 13 points. Or is it lesser than 13 points? Uh, help me with fewer and lesser. Uh, points would be fewer. 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 Okay, uh, that's what it says here. You so can accumulate correct. them. Do, oh, okay. do double digits. Let me ask you this. Uh-oh. I don't know much about basketball. Here we go. Mm -hmm. should, a, should a player <laughs> score more than half of its team, well, see, well, they were they were defending against the three, so they were they were letting him have right. the twos. 
They, I mean, th doesn't <clears throat> that seem like you're, you're something's wrong with the team if one player is getting more than half? I, ideally, I think uh, a more well-rounded effort would have been desirable. Yes, I see what mm. you're saying. Yeah, I read that the strategy of UConn was to keep everybody else <laughs> out of the game. Gotcha. Except for Zach. And when they weren't eating cereal and uh, trying to make jokes about the eclipse mm -hmm. uh, during the pregame show on uh, I'm not sure what I was watching now, um, they they said that the idea UConn had was to um, uh, let Zach Eady have his points because there's really no way to stop that and clamp down on the three-point range. Because if Purdue went nuts from three points, that would be true. Like for one, you. one for seven or one, one for, for eight. seven. I what yeah, it was, it was not. Yeah. Uh, Who was eating the cereal? Was that Shaq? Shaq was eating it a couple nights ago. He was. Uh, he didn't have any milk, so he put tea on it. I don't know. Oh no, <laughs> I don't know. You know me. There's nobody who likes a good pregame show in any sport <laughs> you more than I do. Show. I hate them all. <laughs> Play the game. What kind of cereal do you like? I like Honey Nut Cheerios mixed with Total Raisin Bran, oh, which nice. I can't oh. find anymore. Really? Hmm. No. Oh, that's odd. Huh. I'm doing my usual grape nuts and cornflakes. Already and had this I morning. don't delicious. I, I do not care for grape nuts. I know those. I like do. grape nuts too. Really? Yeah. Aren't they real chewy and they hurt your mouth? And no. oh yeah, they're gravel. Yeah, they, right. They, they have a good flavor. I like putting them in. They're yogurt. delicious, delicious. Uh, but we're not eating them while doing our sports cast, certainly. Unlike Shaq. Right. Mm -hmm. Although I have eaten during a sports cast. But I don't think anyone has known other than you, and you've announced it to the world a couple times. Sorry. <laughs> I've had some peanuts enjoying sure. myself over yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, mixed nuts. Anyway, uh, where was I? South Carolina's on the ladies' side. The Gamecocks' victory over Caitlin Clark in Iowa in Sunday women's NCAA championship game. The preliminary numbers are in. The audience average, this has happened with each uh, uh, game that's been played. A new record, 18.7 million on ABC and ESPN. Oh. The only sporting events in the United States to draw a, big, a bigger TV audience since 2019 have been football, the World Cup, and the Olympics. The audience number is expected to increase when Nielsen, Steve Nielsen, <laughs> releases his numbers later today. Let him go, Steve. Come on. Steve. I'm curious. Come on. Stop. Finish adding and get them to get us the numbers. Nielsen says the audience peaked at 24 million. Oh, wow. It's the most watched basketball game since 2019 when the men's NCAA title game between Virginia and Texas Tech uh, got 19.6 million. So there you go. Oh, the women's go game. Ladies. The women's game has never enjoyed uh, so much uh, popularity. Yeah, and I'll, I'll be curious to see what the uh, when they release the gambling numbers, uh, where they fall. I know there's a huge amount of gambling on. I'm sure they could. Uh, they can research and find out pretty much anything you'd like to know as far as demographics go. But I, I wonder how many. Specifically on the women, and are a little bit everywhere. Or, or I also wonder gambling. about the game time starting so late. If that affects how many people watch a game. People were as as the internet becomes uh, omniscient everywhere. Um, what do I want to say? Omnipresent. That's it. Um, yeah, people are very upset that uh, the game doesn't start till nine twenty Eastern. That's crazy. When the internet becomes omniscient. We're in trouble. <laughs> oh, it's close. Yeah, well, it's, it's, yeah, the AI and everything. All but, yeah, yeah, we already have a sentient yeah. garbage That's bag coming up in the news. <laughs> That's oh, my God. Have you heard about that? No. A way that you won't believe it. <laughs> Is that right? A garbage bag? Oh, it's, you haven't heard this story? Mm-mm. It, it. it might be worth breaking into uh, sports for just a second. I know refrigerators pretty much tell me what I need from the store. I know that. You have one of those? Yeah. You like it? No, I never <laughs> use it. Yeah. never. And it's hooked up to my Wi-Fi. I can uh, adjust the temperature of my refrigerator right from here. Andy. Really? I, <laughs> Tom has never been more correct. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I better turn that up a degree. No, never happened. Yes, some things they're making too complicated. Yeah. Are you talking about the Porch Pirate story? Isn't this, have you seen this video? No. This is so bizarre. A California resident reports a Porch Pirate employed a bizarre disguise to steal his package. Omar Gabriel Munoz told Storyful <laughs> that he received a notification of a package delivery, but it was not on his porch when he returned home from work. He checked his door camera and discovered that a porch pirate disguised as a trash bag had taken his package. All right. The footage shows the person covered by a large black trash bag with their white flip-flops peeking out <laughs> underneath. They inch up Munoz's walkway before grabbing the package and sulking away. Oh. 
Well, that's so, a way to disguise yourself. But, I mean, if you saw a walking trash bag, <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> I don't think he was trying to go. Hey, look, I'm a I'm a bag of trash. I think he was just it was he, he didn't wanted, have a ski mask. Yeah, he wanted to disguise himself. Yeah, he was just cover me up or herself. White right. flip flops. That's got to be. See, a now woman. we don't even know sex except yeah. <laughs> the person's all crouched down. Yeah, it's very funny. I'm impressed that the bag didn't break. I'd like to know what brand that is so I can get that from my garbage. <laughs> that <laughs> looks like your hefty dash twelve. Oh, That's it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe inside it was the man from Glad. Uh, uh, that, guy, uh, that guy hasn't had a gig for a while, has he? The man no. from Glad. Is he still out there, the man from I Glad? Oh, no. I don't, I don't know, 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 but I remember the, the I remember the commercials. I remember the phrase, the man from Glad. And I don't know I don't know who the actor was, though. I want to say the Mr. Clean-looking fellow hmm. is what I remember. But was maybe he, who not. was the guy that had the silver white hair and was very athletic-looking? Was that the... I don't know. Tom Harmon? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, Christy, a uh, yay or nay on the scented garbage bag? Oh, nay. I thought you two got me to buy vanilla garbage bags. And now I'm off them because uh, it kind of got to me after a while. Oh. Yeah. You, are you still on the vanilla garbage bag? I don't think my current uh, batch of garbage bags is vanilla. No. Hmm. Something and else. And maybe that's it. Maybe I got the wrong scent because the scent we have now is awful. Oh. I just so in any, any they apparently didn't catch this person. I'm assuming it was a guy disguised Why do you as a garbage it was bag. A guy? How many guys do you know that have white flip flops? Do you think it was a, a female yes. trash pirate disguised as a garbage looks bag? Like a woman. It, I, I think it's a woman. I yeah. I'm with. I don't see a woman putting a garbage bag on and hiding under on a porch. I don't. Why? I because women now, don't. Now, do we care know there's it. really a person in there? This is my point. This could be the sentient. <laughs> okay, garbage here's our bag. video. <laughs> <laughs> See, you know what? I, I kind of okay. take it back. It's not someone the with a garbage bag. The person is so crouched down. And you have to be pretty small. Okay, I changed my opinion. I think it's a woman, too. Uh, you know something? I do, too. Yeah. The, po the posture and the yeah, pacing. Yeah. That's yeah. a lady. Yeah. yeah. And you have to be pretty. <laughs> I think she she might be kind of old. It'd be yeah. great if she were attacked by raccoons. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, fellas, yeah, look. The garbage is moving. It must be fresh and tasty. <laughs> She is moving as though she were trying to pretend to be a bag of garbage. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. That's the funniest thing I've seen <laughs> today. Hilarious. That's amazing. Oh, you have to put Weirdo. that up on our site. Uh, you know, I'm, and, wait a minute. I'm going to, let's see. Uh, this really isn't a spoiler alert. At this point, I'll be vague here. I'm envisioning a Kaiser Soze transition where the garbage bag, <laughs> oh. they, they show the feet, and suddenly the garbage bag <laughs> flies <laughs> off, and the feet straighten up, and they just keep walking straight. One of the great scenes of all oh. Oh, of great contemporary movie. cinema. Um, that is just so weird. Well. Um, once again, uh, disguised yeah. as a garbage bag. The only thing to identify this person is their feet. Yeah, the so white. Did she have they, socks on, too? It looked like no. white slides. I, it didn't look like flip-flops. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure it's a... I did see this. I was researching this story, and I saw another story about someone that was just in, inside a garbage bag, and the person just beat the hell out of them. What? <laughs> <laughs> What's Yikes. happening? Yeah, they were, I guess, stealing something, and they came up with a baseball bat. Oh, no, you don't, pal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the guy, so yeah. you could tell there was a person in Apparently, a bag. Yeah, I'll have to do a little more homework on this, but. And the guy just came up I with mean, a bat. I mean, what if the guy had been home and the porch pirate starts walking off with his stuff? I mean, would it be, have been reasonable to walk up with a baseball bat and start pummeling the... Well, I don't know. That's a little mm. much. Well, you're a thief. Maybe <sighs> the person will have to... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry, I wonder if the person will have to pay a hefty fine. Hey! <laughs> there is a chance. That, hefty. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh, isn't that, uh, isn't that John Cena? Isn't that the commercial now? Hefty, hefty, hefty. The, the women say that, and she, he comes up with his butt or something, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's John oh. Cena? Oh, yeah. They love him. Yeah. The hefty, ladies, hefty, uh... hefty. <laughs> He's got a great ass, is what I've heard. Really? <laughs> you, that, that I, you, you were told that. Not that I think about it all the time. Okay. Uh, hey, guys. My name's Chris. Hi, the, Chris. I enjoyed the eclipse yesterday. I live in Kentucky. Uh, by the way, Tom, I can't find my wallet. Can anyone spare a few bucks? <laughs> yeah, I'm probably. So, uh, uh, payday. <laughs> it's Chris from uh, Kentucky. I, I, I took a picture of, uh, of the group that I was with. All yeah. of them staring up there with their glasses on. Is that right? Well, and it, it's taking a picture of the eclipse is pretty tricky. Um, the kids that I were with, I was with, they used their glasses over 
the phone. The camera. The camera on their phones, and we're taking them. Right. Yes. It kind of, sort of works. works. Yeah. It, yeah, it works yeah. pretty well. There are a lot of, as Josh probably is about to point out, there were quite a few of them available on the internet, taken by professionals. I, I mean, a moment like that, I, you, your phone goes in your pocket. I didn't even have exactly. my phone with me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And what he was moment. taking pictures of, pic of people. Well, of the at, people. Yeah. That's yeah. one thing. But that your kids, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, they were all looking up. and. Right. It was cute, I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. But, boy... You don't need to again, I, and I make this claim that a chick denies. It was a, a moment in which you had, uh, over the course of a few hours, fifty whatever, whatever, fifty million people or something looking at the same thing. Yep. So. Not Super Bowl numbers, you big <laughs> pussy. Okay, sorry, Super. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I think I'm going to watch it again next week. Are it you? was, it was oh, that good. Wow. Yeah. What time yeah. is it next yeah. week? But they're bringing it back, right? Are they? Yeah, yeah. Well, it was so popular. I think you'd have to. Right. And have uh, Snoop Dogg narrate. I don't know why and we don't have more of them. There okay, you go. Okay, so I, I, I judgment call. <laughs> yes. Yesterday, at least here, in the zone of totality, virtually all schools were canceled. Correct. Right. Mm -hmm. So... School zone right around the corner here. Lights flashing. No cars in the parking lot. Clearly no school. Lights flashing, meaning you have to go the reduced speed uh, limit. What uh, do you do? Uh -oh. I don't. I maintain the, uh, yeah, the school are, zone. Yeah, I go, go at the speed of what the sign says. If there's Not lights if there's flashing. no school in session. No, no, there's no school. I said, yeah, no. I said, law be damned, I'm flooring it. <laughs> well, you, you don't want a ticket from a school zone. I what think. kind of cop's going to give you a ticket you are... for going through a school zone when there's no school? Well, Is it against the law? Yes. What kind of a-hole speeds through a school zone? I do when there's no school. <laughs> there you go. You are getting quite the reputation of running red lights early in the morning. Uh, a complete yeah. scoff law. Now a school zone. <laughs> Cop stuff. And I, we saw, everybody saw you peel out of here yesterday morning in your car going, <laughs> I swear he was going 100 miles an hour before he hit the street. Oh, I and, missed this. In the parking lot. Yeah, he does it every morning. You know why? Because you can. Because I can. It's fun. <laughs> I drove back. With, I bought the gas. The hell with everybody else. He's, I drove back with him from West Virginia and he maintained oh, yeah. a very nice a steady, you know, speed on the freeway. And as, and as much as I hate to admit it, ah, Christy. Christy was in your car for the whole way back? Yes. She was, did a nice job. So was Oske. They <laughs> Oske slept the whole way. I'm really sorry. Didn't even get out to pee. The, guy, the man is an animal. <laughs> but, we, but Christy, on uh, two occasions, saved me from going the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, twice. How many coffee stops? One. We made just, one just stop. Just one coffee stop. And then yeah. But I have, this was my point. We get off to get coffee, and he shoots up this ramp, and I was I like, what the this. heck? It was great. <laughs> Goes, thank you, thank you for saving me under the welcome. directions. So. Yeah, it was. It was we a have very the same nice thing. Ride. My my phone stopped talking to me. Here we go. Oh, it Christy. did. And once again, Tom didn't get lost. It was his phone. His no, fo my phone stopped talking to me. Yeah. Well, I don't blame your phone. <laughs> Christie's <laughs> phone talked to me a lot. So, uh, very handy. Well, um, now uh, coming up in sports, uh, other stuff, including a world record. Uh, and uh, it's a very, very small person. And Hank Aaron yesterday, we celebrated uh, a landmark, uh, an occasion yesterday with, with Henry Aaron. And um, swear jar back in sports. Oh. Remember the swear jars? Sure you do. Quarter every time you use a curse word. Wish we had yeah. one. I know. It's going to be <laughs> full. I'd be, I'd be rich. <laughs> yeah, somebody from uh, Fort Lauderdale owes us uh, $100,000, I think, after it's all uh, said right now, over. I want to say that enjoy the taste of uh, spring. It's officially here, and HelloFresh is uh, very much aware of that. And uh, they'd like to save you those trips to the grocery store. HelloFresh, what do they do? They do the shopping for you. They do the measuring. You put it together. And uh, that gives you, I guess, more time to hang out outside. And uh, how about this? They've got a whole bunch of these new Ready in 20 recipes. I'm talking about stuff that's just about uh, done over. I mean, it's all done. What am I saying? It is done in 20 minutes. They've got a whole bunch of them now. And uh, also a bunch of stuff that I guess would be best described as uh, healthy options. Good old-fashioned comfort food is always there, but they've got some low-calorie stuff, some high-protein stuff. You get uh, more than 35 recipes to choose from each week. Christy, what are you working on over this there? This is one of our favorites. It's the mozzarella crusted chicken with blistered tomatoes and potato wedges. I'd never had blistered tomatoes before, but thanks to HelloFresh, I now use them instead of mar um, marinara sauce. It's really a nice, tangy, sweet thing to add to your dish. 30 minutes, it's easy to make, and you can do it with HelloFresh. Did I say 30? 
35 recipes? I meant 45. Oh, what am I wow. talking about? Yeah. Every week to choose from those great recipes. And by the way, how about this? I'm going to give you a few n n items here. Lava cakes, cheesecakes, mm. uh, mouth-watering treats. That's right. Uh, every single time you get a box, you're going to get a free dessert in there, courtesy of HelloFresh. And you'll continue that as long as you continue your subscription. HelloFresh.com slash BTS. How sweet. That's the new code. BTS, how sweet. One free dessert item in each HelloFresh box with an active subscription. HelloFresh.com slash BTS. How sweet. Coming up, we have um, a guy faking his death. Wow. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Uh, last time you were here, yes, um, you uh, got talking about catchphrases. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm not even sure you remember this. In fact, uh, I remember it. We actually use it. We use it a lot. Right now. And I, I, and How's I, that working for you? You know, I got to say that, you know, I'm a comic, mm -hmm. so everything, and when I improvise something, it, it's mm -hmm. a throwaway. Mm -hmm. And I'm certain that I've thrown away my career <laughs> and the potential for a decent career a hundred times. I've had people say to me, you know, that big bean bit, the funniest thing I have ever, and I don't know what Don't know what they're talking about. about. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's like, you know, I got I got my stuff and then I got my... Because you had that guy on from Bruce Springsteen earlier. Sure, and, I, and, I was, and as mm -hmm. he was talking about working with the boss mm -hmm. and the boss way he works a set list, that's me. Yeah. I don't mean to say I'm like Bruce Springsteen, but I'm like Bruce Springsteen. Okay. You, just, you, <laughs> you, know just, you change it up every I night. Have a, I have a set list and then I'm willing to... And I you never it. follow it, yeah? It's, you know, I'll do what I need to do. I'll yeah. do whatever I got. It's like making love, you know? But, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you do it right now. That's right. See, we love that phrase, and you, you give, you've given it up then. We were hoping... I, I did it, you know, and when I did... There's the Bob, no Right Now t-shirts? When I did the Bob and Tom show tour, mm -hmm. I don't know if I told you I did it. Sure. Uh, uh, and, and, and Chick in, introduced me. He introduced me with that catchphrase. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. starting. It's and, starting. Um, is, it, uh, is it sweeping America? Mm -hmm. and we, 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 we want we'll to we'll bring, like we'll bring you back on the tour, but we, only if we can do the right now thing. Oh, look could I hear what the, I got to do. Could uh, I hear the baked bean bit right, right now? now. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, sometimes, sometimes my mom used to make baked beans with her special sauce, yeah. which was mustard, ketchup, and sugar. Uh -huh. And she would, you know, she she goes, go on to the dinner, come in right now. <laughs> and, right, and she had this really deep voice. That's, oh. that's before she stopped smoking. Yeah. Uh -huh. she, was a, she was a Paul Mall babe. Wow. <laughs> Did the sugar make the beans? Uh, brown sugar. Sweet. It was a brown sugar. Mm -hmm. It was like the best thing in the world. Yeah. And my father used, my father was so, my father loved, my father was overweight. And so my father, and no matter what, she couldn't do any wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, what, what, oh, this is the greatest thing I ever, you know, it's, it's mustard and ketchup and, 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 and brown, brown sugar. And brown a lot sugar. of sugar in there. And, yeah. and some Campbell's baked beans. Mm -hmm. And he's, he, oh, <laughs> <laughs> we could have, if, if, God bless my father. May he may rest in peace. He could he would have been happy with a trough. And I'll tell you something. My father lived for uh, dinner. Did he? Mustard? Yeah. Because my father, you know, my mustard, father was huh? he was a real man. He was a Marine Corps lieutenant colonel. We've mm -hmm. talked about this before. Sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. My father was in World War II, my grandfather World War One. I. I enlisted in the army out of high school, just missed Vietnam. But I was in time for our country's war on drugs. Uh, how'd you <laughs> Technically, do? Technically, I fought for the other side. <laughs> <laughs> we have to take a break right, right now. now. Right now. Oh. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. Bob and Tom Radio. You know us. We're Amish Bell. No poles, no wires, no phones, no nonsense, <laughs> no shiny objects. That's Amish Bell. And now, new from Amish Bell, call waiting. 
Hello, Graber. How's the farm? Good, Carl. Good to see you. Do... Oh, wait a minute, Carl. I see Fritz is here waiting to talk with me. <laughs> okay, Graber. I'll just stand here and wait. Hi, Fritz. I'm talking to Carl right now. Can you wait for a moment? You're fine, Graber. I'll just stand here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carl. Now, Beverly. Call waiting. Another new world of convenience from the old world mines at Amish Bell. Remember, we take Visa quilts, and cheese. Amish Bell, <laughs> leading you into the 19th century. Bob and Tom, 24-7. I mean, and that's the difference. I mean, when you spill something and you rent it, you think, eh, maybe next commercial. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you own it. Like, I got to get that up right away. That's my floor. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Suddenly, it's your floor. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. But true. I do love the... Are you handy? Very, yeah. Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because if you know, if, if they can't find you handsome, they better find you handy. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, 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 I, I have a hat that uh, says that. Uh, <laughs> you should take it down to Napa. I later. think I, I think Phil just made the quotes page. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think he did. Yeah. If they can't the find you handsome, they better. And, find and they won't find me handsome because I'm not. I mean, I wish I was. I mean, I really because that's a break. Yeah. You know, you, some guys are lucky. I mean, some guys were born with make love to me yep. good looks, yeah. and mm-hmm. uh, I. I, I was born with, ask him, maybe he knows where it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very different. Yeah. Very uh, different. Wow. Very, yeah. uh, Excuse I'll, me, do you know where the handsome men that we have sex with are? <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I think they're down the beach. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And everything, you know this is true, because everything a handsome guy does is cool. Everything. They have a messy haircut, doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, they wear jeans that are all ripped up, torn, frayed. Looks good. Yeah, I mean, I, I wear ripped up, torn frayed. People put money in my coffee. You know, they just, oh, I feel bad for that kid. Uh, and I, How many every... women have you? With us in the studio, comedian uh, John Garrett. Do you have a straight job? I mean, like a normal day to day thing? Do yeah, you I actually do. I'm actually a CPA. Believe it or not, oh, yeah, well, and um, that spells party. Yeah, it does. Most people find it think uh, CPAs are hysterical. Yeah, <laughs> no, of course not. Uh, we're dorks, uh, big dorks. But uh, uh, and honestly, on behalf of all accounts out there, I'd like to say that we don't all do taxes. Some of us prefer to embezzle. <laughs> <laughs> it's much more lucrative. <laughs> I read recently uh, Willie Nelson wrote a song called "Whatever Happened to Peace on Earth" mm-hmm. as his little protest to the war in Iraq. Mm-hmm. And my immediate thought was, why does he care? It's not like it's his tax dollar being put to use. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think the U.S. US government should write a song called Whatever Happened to Willie's 1040? <laughs> that was a tax joke for the accountants. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is Mark Sweeney. Pretty brought to you by Indie Decorative Concrete. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Good morning. Good morning. Christy's here. Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby. I'm Chick. Hello, Tom. Hello, Chick McGee. Hello. I thought uh, a little palate cleanser would be appropriate at this time. Therefore, we have a special early edition. Who's that oh, sexy yeah. man with a deep voice? Uh, Ace Cosby, here he is with his joke of the day. I have an adorable pet termite. Oh, really? really? He wears a little cowboy hat. Yeah. I named him Clint Eats Wood. <laughs> oh. That was Ace Cosby's joke of the day. Clint eats wood. I like that very much. Thank you. He eats wood, you see. Uh Uh-huh, yeah. (laughs) Oh, okay, thank you. (laughs) Very clever, Very Uh, clever. (laughs) Uh, We have uh, coming up unusual pets in the news. All right. Uh, Octopus. Octopi. As a pet? Uh, yes, as a pet. Yeah. Did you wow. know you could have an octopus pet? I assumed, but... Uh, I mean, there's an octopus teacher movie, but I didn't know you could have a Well, you pet. have to keep mm. them in the water, though. It's a Bond villain thing to do. You can't yeah. take them out for a walk, though. No, no. <laughs> it's a long walk. Yeah. <laughs> you have to name them Cigarette, because you have to drag them around. Oh, you take, them them eight leashes. take them out for a drag. <laughs> cigarette. In the wake of the Clint, East, I mean Clint Eastwood. What? Sorry. Eastwood. <laughs> Sorry. Clint Eastwood. <laughs> There has to be a... Well, the other one needs... There has to be a foremost... Can we replay that? I'd love to hear that again. Clint Eastwood. Can we at least hear Pat say, that one eats wood, too, again? Because it got buried the first time. Maybe it's time for a song for Pat. Yeah, I'm sad today. I made some mistakes yesterday. Oh, no. You did? What happened? For the purpose of this bit, I didn't have my glasses on. Oh. 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 I looked up at the sky there, so... The the big big post... Uh, the clip song. Yeah. I'm going to turn this into a ballad if you don't mind. 
Doctor, my eyes have seen the sun. Well, I thought it would be fun with our glasses. Now, while I see a blurry fog, <laughs> he says, you burned the macula, which is part of the retina. Could be blinded by a cane, get a dog. <laughs> Doctor, my eyes, well, I looked at the eclipse. That was unwise. No more dart championships. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a sad day. It's a sad day. <laughs> that sure is sad. Oh, that is a specific problem. Well, <laughs> and they, well, they're coming up this week. That's why you mentioned it. Thank you, John. Yes, they are. Well, yeah. uh, purpose of the bit. Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Of yeah, course, the international league is. We'll have that in sports then. The dart, dart championship. Isn't that like the number one TV show in England? The darts, darts? right? It's it is it's huge, popular. Right? Yeah. Oh. And they have the guy on one. They have a split screen. A guy close up looking at the board, and then the board on the other side. <laughs> so he wings it out there, and you see it land on the other side. Oh, it's. It's it's tense, and we had to. Didn't we have a, during the championship? Uh, someone was accusing the other guy of deliberately uh, emitting yes vast amounts of flatulence. Yeah, yeah oh, during, during a dark during a dark during tournament. Dark? Oh, ruled. I believe it was ruled that that is not considered cheating or or uh, interference. By the way, did we ever find out who uh, crop dusted oh, the hallway yesterday? yesterday? I don't know that anybody fessed up right before the end of the show. I was in here the whole time, so I'm, I was in I'm here out. the whole time. Boy, it was, it was ghastly. I, I'm yeah. still. It gives me chills. <laughs> you, you look genuinely concerned. Yes, <laughs> somebody's dying on the inside. There, are, there are other people in this building. I, I know, but you were. <laughs> I'm no. I, I I'm. You a, stood right here. No, I and didn't. That was, as I said yeah. in high school, cut one <laughs> and then went down the hallway. And I know I was a prime suspect, and I totally get why. I was in the vicinity. You were in the vicinity. I've been known to do it before. But you you're had honest means, about it. You're you honest. had opportunity. You yeah. I did have opportunity, yeah. But I had no motive yesterday. Yeah, no motive. No. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And you didn't giggle. You usually giggle. Yeah, you have a good time with it. <laughs> have you ever seen him? He goes over here to the door outside, and he sticks he's, his ass out he, the door. Do you really? Yeah. And he's then giddy, shuts the door. He's about I think that's very thoughtful. Thank well, you. Well, it is, it is when I take the time to actually clip it fully. You know? Now, here's the story. <laughs> a, 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 uh, a competition darts player accused his opponent of stinking up the playing area with excessive flatulence. <laughs> Mr. Darren Webster refused to shake hands with Dutchman Ron Muhlenkamp <laughs> after losing 4-3 at the Modus Super Series. Webster wrote, When you play a guy who farts and stinks the stage out and denies it, then he kicks you when you're playing the stall every throw because they are a S-word. Kicks mm -hmm. you. Uh, good luck for the future. I'm not interested. Uh, he just goes on and on. Wow. Um, wow. And it's uh, apparently, I guess you're. It's legal, apparently, but oh. not, not certainly not gentlemanly. No, it's not. Um, so, I don't think I could uh, do that on cue. Do you, do we know anybody who could do that on cue? I, mean, I, I think I it just happens, it. right? Right. I mean, you don't. Fourteen times a day. You can't I, take I think, in I, air. You could, I think you could pregame. Yeah, like a, a lot, of, a lot load up on various you know like beans, beans or whatever, and huh. Is that true? Fourteen yeah, times a day. That's about fourteen times a day. That's yeah. the average. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm right. Every... I think I'm above that. Oh yeah. Depending yeah. on diet, yeah. Huh. I, I mean, I thought I don't know much about darts, but I always thought it was in the wrist, not in the butt. <laughs> 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 What's your secret? <laughs> it's in the butt. <laughs> it's in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's not in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> who is that guy? <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Didn't we have some guy call us one day who could fart on cue? <laughs> I, I'm sure there's someone out there. there. And he put, uh, he's probably, he's probably yeah. pretty yeah. busy this morning. He put his cell phone down by his butt. Yeah. And, yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> okay, we don't need yeah. that. And he <laughs> just giggle we're, and we're laugh like fine. a lunatic. We're just fine. We yeah. are just uh, fine. Okay. Yes. Are, are people good at darts also good at cornholes at a different skill? Uh, oh. Yeah. I mean, maybe maybe they're able to judge the distance, and but it's got to be somewhat of a different skill there. I, I think aiming and throwing, probably. I, are I the know. biggest cornhole tournaments indoors or out? Oh, I, I don't know, but I... Uh, darts like, is like always... A, darts in England, especially indoors, I would think. Yeah. But would, like, there be wind-aided cornhole 
My I, issues. I see what you're doing. But I... <laughs> we'll see. Why don't we come? We'll come back with more sports. <laughs> yes. And uh, we have a world record in true love. We have unusual pets in the news. All sorts of things. Uh, but I don't appreciate being used as a prop. Uh, <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Bar- he, he does it all. Of <laughs> yeah. Bar- Barbie doll is a Barbie doll in, in medicine. Believe it or not, is in the news. Huh. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out the Bob and Tom. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcasts. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. Now, um, we have a request. Christy, do you feel like doing a little uh, something, something over there? Something, something like what? Well, I, we have a request uh, for uh, uh, Christ, Christy does a thing she does on, on occasion on stage with Henry Phillips. And oh, I see. They are going to be working together. Oh, I don't know. We're, we're going to use that as a tease the, uh, to get people to Wiley's on Saturday to no. see the big. Well, I'm the big, big show. The big. Well, that'd be duet. nice. But there are a lot of people who can't make didn't it. Didn't we? Uh, didn't we hear a new version of the? Wasn't it? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Did you guys ever? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, we, we did get that. that. Oh, cool. We played that. Yeah. Well, well, why don't we? Can you do the original? Do you know? That's the more politically. Uh, Correct version. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, have you ever guys tried this on the air here? Have we? Yeah, I think we have. I don't know. Um, gosh, Henry, it's been so long since I've seen you, and I just thought that would be great to kind of maybe sit here and talk about some things like the weather. Have you noticed how hot it's gotten? Oh, my God, and the humidity. She's talking again. I have again. some friends that have it's shown really up. really bugging me. She's talking again. The most ungodly it's so embarrassing. I look at my friend. I don't know what women are thinking. I think she's things. psycho because she's but talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. But, you know, at least make sure your surgeon gets your nipples in the right place because I hate it when they skew left. God, what is that all about? You would think. She's talking again. Oh I need a cigarette. Oh She's talking again. And here, here's the other I wish we never met. She's talking again. again. Oh the scar she She's had. like a TV set. You know, She's I talking and talking and talking. I'm gonna go insane. Cellulite was something everybody I'm in horrific so pain. Do that to yourself. And then I think she's on cocaine. Scars. Your stomach looks like a battle. Maybe I now. need some because she's talking and talking oh and talking, talking and talking. I'll tell you what. If you I don't that baby care suit, about a word time, you I'm say. You already know. told that stupid Strap story her anyway. Her I'm going to get a 38 and blow myself you away you because you're talking. You look at yourself in the mirror and go, this is as good as I am ever going to look. Oh, my God. <laughs> and to go out in public like that? What is she thinking? I was at a black tie event she's the other night. She's talking again. had on the really bugging me. She's talking again. In a beautiful it's so embarrassing. She I look at my friends. Unbelievably low I think she's psycho because she's I talking and talking. And Here talking. we are trying to raise money for a charity and her breasts are hanging out. She's, she's talking saying, again. Oh my God. She's 55 years old. Come she's on, talking honey. again. Bless your age. What are you trying to prove? She's talking we all again. You know that once you start drinking, you're going to hit on your husband's best friend, and that is not a She's attractive. talking again. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. See what you miss when you're gone for just a couple of months, hon? Wow. Christy okay. Lee, along with uh, Henry Phillips, I heard something about nipples the wrong way yeah. and uh, Have breast you ever hanging seen out. That? Skewing the wrong way? Yeah. Sometimes mm. they put them back, they're not exactly okay, lined thank you. up. Yeah, it kind of mm. looked like Marty Feldman nipples. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what they call it in the textbooks? I think so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Josh, what's wrong? My back is sore, my legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look, nothing. Ah, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. See you later, buddy. Give it a... Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, Orange Insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get Orange Insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to Orange Insoles, I feel great. Terrific! <laughs> See me. you later. <laughs> Orange Insoles. Feel better, do more.
yeah. And if they're dad short, don't try and pick them up. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you're like a little baby, Dad. <laughs> Essential morning radio all day and all night. Some light bug, some light schmitz, but for me, it's Bob and Tom Radio. Tom Radio. And the allies, they tell you all this psychological stuff to make you feel safe. Like every time you get to the plane, they talk about the flotation seat. And they explain it to you. Like if you go down, in, if you crash in the ocean, then the seat will float. Two planes out of 100 go overseas. 98 out of 100 stay right here. So if you want to make me happy, you show me a seat that's going to bounce out of a cornfield. <laughs> that's what I like. <laughs> <laughs> they got everybody just confused. Like that. James Gregory is our guest. He's not a flyer, apparently. Uh, also joining us uh, in the studio, comedian John Bazaar. Yeah. Well, I, I find that now that I, I need a woman, I mean, uh, uh, integrity, strength of character, honesty, <laughs> but really the most important thing, got to have a big ass. I need, uh -huh. I may be outside the pale on this one, judging by all the magazine covers I see, mm. but I'm done with these ectoskeletal, wafer-thin, <laughs> rice cake chomping chicks with the Ally McBeal arms and those heroin-looking legs. Yeah. Even the three little pigs knew you don't build something of sticks if you're going to spend any time inside. <laughs> <laughs> On November 15th, 1864, Major General William Tecumseh Sherman began his famous march to the sea. Sherman led his troops from Atlanta, Georgia to the ocean port of Savannah. As he was leaving, Sherman set the city on fire, gutting 40% of it. Atlanta wouldn't be burned this badly again until they gave their franchise tag to Michael Vick. <laughs> Essential morning radio all day and all night. You might as well shoot me when the beer runs out. Bob and Tom Radio. Tom Radio. Warm up and get it done. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. Hello, Josh Arnold. Chickster. He's over there at the I Hate Stephen Singer sidekick chair. You want to hear a little bit about the red wine roses they have going on? Yeah. Tell me. It's Tell days me. of red wine and roses, my friends. The 24-karat gold dipped rose in red wine is now available, and we're talking for Mother's Day. That's right. Stephen Singer Jewelers 24-karat gold roses, the number one gift for Mother's Day, exclusively and only available at I hate Steven Singer.com. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm I'm Chick. Here's Tom. Thank you very much. I, uh, Pat, I really enjoyed your tribute to the Eclipse. I want to hear that again. Oh, thanks. Uh, uh, with apologies going out to the great Jackson, Jackson Brown. Brown yeah. uh, but fine, fine, uh, fine, fine song <laughs> about um, eye damage. I guess, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. People, yeah are, people, are, uh, people are concerned about that. I hope you uh, wore the proper protection. And uh, I uh, I was amazed that those those glasses really work. Yeah. Yeah, I was just amazed how dark they are. Yeah, I was too. If you, yeah. if you put them on, was, you, you, you effectively see nothing until yeah. you look up at the sun, and then right there's that the sun looks kind of like a little moon there at the beginning, <laughs> <laughs> a little, little so uh, cool. crescent. Yeah. That's right. Uh, was, uh, but as we all enjoyed it very much, very exciting. Mm -hmm. I uh, think I realized yesterday I've only seen like uh, before this like a ninety percent totality. Right. Yeah. yeah, boy, but that a hundred percent really. Makes a huge difference. Did you, say, did you take the glasses off and look at it right that at that in those moments? Oh, oh with, sure. With the current, yeah, yeah, with, that was yeah, insane. yeah, hundred percent. Ace, yeah. did you watch the eclipse? Yeah. Okay. I yeah, when it disappeared from my wow. glasses, I went, oh, and then I took them off and went, oh, oh my God. I know, <laughs> I know, I know. I know. Yeah. And it was colder outside too. Yes, it yeah, got chillier it did. and did, and fairly, yeah. very dark. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sunset birds, all around. And the birds did stop singing. Yep. They did. Yeah, they yeah. sure did. Birds Not quiet. Singing. But again, my dog, to the one I was with me, totally nonplussed. Good, good, good. I'm glad they weren't concerned or anything. Are there any snacks? Where are the snacks? Snacks. It's not dark now. Does that mean we get more snacks? <laughs> Sun's coming back. How about some snacks? <laughs> you know it'd be a good time for some snacks. Snacks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then we haven't heard about the rash of a pickpocketing yet. I'm sure. I, that, that I've been story. looking for an hour and I can't <laughs> find one pickpocket. However, story. oddly enough, some emailers have uh, shared their thoughts that they were pickpocketed <laughs> the other day. Oh no! And, yeah. and some of those emailers have added way at the bottom that. Uh, Please tell Tom this. I don't want him upset. Things like that. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. What else is happening in sports? Uh, well, quickly.
quickly, let's go over the uh, men's basketball championship last night in um, the NCAA. 75-60, UConn, your winners over Purdue last night. UConn, its sixth national championship in 25 years. And Tristan Newton of the Huskies named the most outstanding player. He had 20 points last night for Connecticut. Uh, South Carolina's victory over Caitlin Clark in Iowa in Sunday's Women's NCAA Championship. A preliminary audience of 18.7 million, setting another record on ABC and ESPN, the only sporting events in the United States to draw a bigger TV audience since 2019. Football, the World Cup, and the uh, Olympics and Baseball Hall of Fame on un will unveil a bronze statue of Hank Aaron on May 23rd on the first floor of their museum in Cooperstown. Oh, that's cool. And the United States Postal Service will release a commemorative stamp picturing Aaron in his batting stance wearing his Atlanta Braves uniform. Yeah, it's $7.15. I think it's a little pricey. <laughs> yes. Why are they doing that? <laughs> They'd have to uh, get you? it there overnight, I would think, for seven bucks, right? Yeah. Oh, wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> uh, both announcements I mean, came. They, the, the post office make a lot more money if they a 715th home run. Let's go let's make some cash here. Yesterday was the 50th anniversary of Henry Aaron's 715th home run, which topped, of course, 714 by Babe Ruth. Aaron ended up hitting 755 home runs from 1954 to 1976. Wow. Uh, a mark that stood until... Barry Bonds hit 762, asterisk, from 1986 to 2007, <laughs> asterisk. Uh, a feat assisted by, it says here, not me, uh, start your own controversy, uh, performance-enhancing drugs. Aaron elected to the Hall of Fame in 1982. Uh, he made the All-Star team 25 times. Gosh. And uh, he also set a record with 2,297 RBIs, or RBI. Tom, your thoughts? I prefer uh, RBIs. RBIs, yeah. That, mm -hmm. that, that seems a little bit more down to earth, I would yeah. think. Police in New York State arrested a Pennsylvania man for allegedly stealing a swear jar from a minor league baseball stadium. What a jerk. <laughs> oh, and ironically, if he'd, stolen, if, if, if he'd stolen it the day after he stole it, there'd be more money in it. Oh, really? Because of all the cursing when guys found out the swear jar had been stolen. Oh, I see. Oh. Okay, yeah. Hey, where's the okay. effing swear jar? You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> According to something called Penn Live, P-E-N-N -N Live, the 34-year-old Lancaster man, a Mr. Kyle Good, is believed to have stolen several items and cash from Clipper Magazine Stadium, including... $200 from the Lancaster Stormers, the minor league baseball team, swear jar. Other items the man believed to have stolen included a digital projector, an Alexa smart speaker, team manager Ross Peoples Bluetooth speaker, hmm. and the company credit card of the team's chief financial officer. Oh. Hmm. What a dirtbag. The man no. accused of stealing more than $750 from the team. Boy, it's embarrassing. Man, that's... Uh, Do you have a swear jar, Christy? No, are you kidding? I wish I did. I could use the money. Who around? Yeah, but I'd be paying myself. <laughs> that's exactly the problem. <laughs> <laughs> My uh, husband does not swear at all. No kidding. I, I have, no, I don't... Remember, uh, somebody write the date down. <laughs> not yet, anyway. I've got a feeling she, he might start swearing. <laughs> any, any, any Oh, pain. I make up for both of us. I'm sorry, did they say there was $200 in the swear jar? Mm -hmm. yeah. I wonder what it was, if it was a dollar a holler or... A mm. quarter. What, what the... Uh, What's the going rate? I think they should uh, assign values, like and the S word, like a yeah, quarter. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. F, F word is a nickel. Yeah. That's so let's, it, it, uh, let me let me pick your brain here, Chick Miguel. Yeah. If you were uh, assigning, uh, as you suggested, uh, monetary amounts, mm -hmm. wh where would the F word fall? Well, it'd be uh, five bucks. I what would think. the C? Five well, bucks. Now, now here's my. This is where this gets tough. What would the C word be? The C Ooh. word to Ooh. me, well, to me personally, the C word is ten bucks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think t I think so too. Yeah. 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 The yeah. F word's almost like breathing to me, so yeah. I don't. But, really yeah, the, the C word would be uh, now in Australia. That wouldn't be the case, or in England. Nope. C word would be below the F word or below the. Really. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Oh, this is different in my house. When I was growing up. The uh, S word was 50 cents. 
the F word was a dollar. And if you said the C word, my dad picked it up and bashed it over your head. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I can't even imagine that like, that would. Oh my. Yeah, it would be rough. There would be way, way worse things than having to put money in a swear jar. But for Growing some, for some people, the, the GD, GD would be. That's exactly what I was be, about Yeah, to you're say. right. Ten bucks. In my house, my GD mom would was consider. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. same here. But with yeah. my, my mom, my, yeah, my mom would consider that the worst. Yes. But in any event, I still don't say it really. I don't say it either. Which one? The GD. Uh, yeah. GD. That's your favorite one, isn't it? That's right. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you're, uh, you're your GD correct, my lady. I heard you uh, heard you this morning whipping that around, actually. <laughs> yeah, that was, I'm sure that was a good reason uh -huh. for it. Oh, oh way, I'm sure it's justified. You know, I thought what interesting about this story, the, the, the suspect. Yes. His name is uh, G-O-O-D-E. Would, would that be Mr. Goody? Or I said Gude. 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 <laughs> G-O-O-D-E? G-O-O-D-E. G-O-O-D-E. Matthew Good is yeah, that's, that's pronounced good. good, yeah. Or it could be just good with an E. But apparently he's yeah. no good. He's no good, he's no good. No good, no good. And good. Dad sing. <laughs> no good. Oh, no shorts. <laughs> okay. and, the, and the team manager is Mr. Peoples. Now that we're through. Okay. Um, what a dirtbag. Yeah. yeah that's the scumbag. That's the old swear jar. Uh, is that sports? Are we singing Linda Ronstadt? You're no good. You're no good. You're no good. Uh, time now for one of these. Stupid world record. A couple from West Virginia now holds the Guinness World Record title for having the greatest height difference of a married couple. Okay. <laughs> Karen. Different sexes, taller woman. Oh, interesting. All right. Oh, no, so it's, it's a heterosexual couple. Okay. okay. I, don't, I and, don't know. And she's the tall one. But there are. There could be different categories. But there are, yeah, taller man, shorter woman. Uh -huh. I think, right. would be I think that's common. Yeah. There could be a gay version of it. Sure. It could be a lesbian version of it. Uh, you, you could list them all. If we you could to. be here all day. <laughs> but this one. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Larry McDonald Thank stands mm -hmm. at yes. three feet tall. What? So he's an official midge. <laughs> Dwarf, I believe. Because oh, vertically challenged. Oh, Do they oh, still call the yeah, You know what? If I'm a if I'm a dwarf, <laughs> and somebody said, oh, you're vertically challenged, I, I would be more offended than if he called me the M word. <laughs> Do they still call like, the don't little... Don't BS me. I'm a midge. The little tiny Tootsie Rolls midges? They used oh, I don't to call know. Those. They used to call those midges. I don't know. Are they? I don't know. But a vertically challenged Tootsie Roll sounds yeah. even worse. I know every time I see one, I go, are you a, are you a time bandit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I'm yeah. sorry, so Mr. Larry McDonald. Can I rub your head for luck? <laughs> Stuff so like that. He's three feet tall, and Mrs. McDonald is... Uh, Jessica Burns McDonald is five feet ten. Oh. Meaning they have a height difference of two feet nine inches. Wow. Pair takes the record title from James and Chloe Lusted, <laughs> L-U-S-T-E-D, Lusted, of the United Kingdom, who have a height difference of one foot ten inches. The pair first met in elementary school and got married in December of 2006. Well, congratulate. Now congratulations. in their 40s, Aww. the couple have four children together. Aww, congratulations yeah. to the Guinness Book win. Yeah. Supposed to do a lot of role playing. <laughs> like you know, he talks like Yoda. I thought you were going to say a ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> something must have happened to the Lusteds. <laughs> they, these two were married in 2006. Uh huh. Go and they're on. just now getting the award, right? Because go on. I, one of the Lusteds must have <laughs> passed away. Yeah, that, that's exactly. <laughs> no, I think they're not as. I think the height difference was less, right? But no. but we yeah, they would have won they, the record in 06 then. had everything been okay. yes. Either that, or you dug one up from 06, you <laughs> punk. <laughs> You're concerned now about about a dead little guy. What happened? I'm sorry, that's what I, happened? Oh, okay. 06. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's 18 years ago to you and me. Uh, I'm just I'm just saying. That's the last time it's total eclipse. <laughs> what I'm is sure. the guy? Can, can talk like Yoda, you know, uh, up me go now. <laughs> Just because he's short, he talks like Yoda. No, I said they're doing cosplay, whatever you call it. Oh, oh, oh. What you right. call it? Still, all right. me go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you listening to today's show on Raycon Earbuds? Luke, call me daddy. I wish, because I wouldn't be here. Well, you should be. <laughs> Raycon's everyday earbuds are the perfect way to tune out all that noise around you and tune into something great, like the Bob and Tom Show, 
audio quality rivals all the big audio brands you know and love at a price you'll love even more. Raycons have a seamless Bluetooth syncing, eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life. And Raycons optimized gel tips are designed to fit comfortably in your ears and they stay in place. And also Raycon has additional features, earbud tap functions, noise isolation. They do make a swell Mother's Day gift and Raycon offers easy 30-day returns just in case. Although I've never heard of that. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom today, and we have a deal for you, of course. You get 20% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. You get 20% off free and free shipping at buyraycon.com slash Tom. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Uh, when we come back, we have to revisit this couple. They look like a nice, really nice couple. Okay. Sure. I, I am not going to revisit the couple <laughs> you are more than welcome it to is. revisit the couple i will sit here and make wacky it, asides it is <laughs> as, it's astonishing i i, mean, I don't know uh, what happened to the previous record holder some, but it can't be good <laughs> he, he doesn't even come up to the bottom of her groin mm, yeah. it's right there at eye level yep. no, no he's below it so she, she 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 says to him, "Hey, my eyes are up here." He goes, "Yeah, your eyes are up there. So are your boobs, oh your belly button, goodness. and All the your good front stuff. naughty." All the good stuffs up there. <laughs> I'm looking up at everything. Uh, they look very nice. Uh, when we come back, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Dr. Will Miller, and you are listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Hey, Dr. Will, Mark Allison, with you, rolling through a Tuesday morning. It's Let's, let's get a song out of Mr. Yes. Mr. Hay. Yeah. Colin Hay is our guest. What do you feel like playing, Colin? Uh, something I know. Oh, okay. yes. Well, that'd be good. I know most of my songs. <laughs> this is an old song which I like. I'll just play it, eh? All How right. How about that? Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin cheese, jalapeno flavored oven baked cheese. It's now available in Gardner's oven baked bundle package. So try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. I left my lunch in the douche wing. I'll be, I'll be right back. I... Jeff Rothpan, so you're in airplanes all the time. You ever get the pilot who talks the whole time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, and he thinks he's like a radio guy. You know, he thinks, hey, hey, everybody, is there your captain here in the cockpit? <laughs> like, where else is he going to be? In the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> of course he's in the cockpit. And, and they're always telling us how many feet we're going up. I never got, I never understood that. Why, why, why are they telling us how many feet we're flying up? Mm -hmm. Because I'm a passenger, and he's busy going on about, uh, hey, we're going to be going to altitude, uh, 36,000 feet. Hey, I'm a passenger. Just go above the mountains and the trees. That's all I know. <laughs> That's all I need. That's all I know. Go high. <laughs> what do I care? I'm not writing this down. 33 or 36,000? What the hell is What are you saying? You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. Uh, hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Here's Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. We are uh, welcoming uh, Jess Hooker into the studio. Yep. Hey, Jess, good to see you. Hi. See this picture of this uh, new world record? Oh, boy. No. <laughs> it's fascinating. We're going back what to that, it? huh? I'll show it to you. This oh. guy's, uh, it's it's the world record for the largest uh, uh, height. The great height difference between a married couple. Um, oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. she, she's 5'10", he's 3 feet tall. Nothing to be I, sad about. Wait till they start making out, Jess. It's they're really in love. Great. Oh, yeah. they do start making they out. Have a great, oh, yeah, they have a wonderful this. family. They have four, four kids. kids. Good for them. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. I bet she can touch her toes. Happy folks. <laughs> I bet she can. You think his thing drags? Just to bend down do a little. Oh, well, uh, that's no, what, yeah, no, we were talking, we're talking about, about that. Like, is it really long or is it non-existent? And he does have children, so it must be there in some form or fashion. of course he has. Well, um, you don't know that. Could be, you don't know that. Can you be born be. without one totally? <laughs> well, you, could uh, be. Yeah. you couldn't go in there and get the stuff. Especially yeah, you can go yeah. get the stuff. Especially yeah. if he wears high heels. <laughs> he walks up and goes, come on. <laughs> really? <laughs> Boy, that'd be, that'd be driving at home, wouldn't it? Man. Yeah. They, yeah, how tall do they make platform shoes? Well, they go like four feet. <laughs> <laughs> like four inches to left. Maybe he should start wearing those. Uh, yeah. Gene Simmons, uh, how, how big were jeans? Uh, and kiss. Uh, well, pretty you know, tall. Six, seven inches. Six, seven inches? Okay, very good. Let's because it's all about the music. <laughs> <laughs> you go see a band. You go, let's hear you. <laughs> Did you see that uh, <laughs> the uh, Kiss just sold all their stuff for like 300 million bucks? Sure something? did. Was that the highest an artist has done? No. No, no. no. But they sold it to the guy that uh, from ABBA. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, Frig, Frignas. Yeah, What's he's his name? made another fortune okay. doing that. Frick, okay. Frick, Frick, Frig, Frignas. I don't a, speak Swedish. A lot of consonants in there. <laughs> uh, have we completed our sportscast? Yeah, that was the uh, the world record there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good to, good to know. Oh, uh, first we have to hear this. Take me like a dog, Elvis. <laughs> and that's sports. <laughs> there you go. Hey, this is what you farted for. Whatever you do, always be a good sport. And I don't know if I'm opening a can of worms here or not, but I kind of had this filed away in the back of my brain, and I don't know if uh, Tom is aware of this or not, but um, uh, we just got back from Charleston, West Virginia, and I understand that initially, I'd like you to explain what uh, what happened. Initially, what? What? wasn't uh, Jessica going to ride with you coming back from West Virginia? Is that what happened? We were walking back from the show uh -huh. on Friday night, right. and he told all of us that were in the group that we're going to ride with him 5 a.m. We're leaving at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. And he, at 4.15, decided that they were leaving at 4.15. <laughs> so I missed, I, it's fine. So I rode, you missed the car. I missed the car, and it's fine. It's no I, deal. I, had a, I, I alerted everyone. He, what happened was. Originally, I said we were leaving at 4 a.m. <laughs> Yes, that's yeah. true, and, and then, then I we said, changed it. Uh, well, it let it got you guys sleep in. I woke up and wanted to get out of there. There yeah, was a car fine. alarm that went off at 3.45, uh -huh. and uh -huh. I woke up and I Just went, as I had it planned. And oh. I woke up and yeah. I went, I bet yeah. this woke Tom up and we're going to leave early. And sure enough, 4 o'clock, bling, we're going to leave at 4.15. It's a dick move. It's okay. You I, can't tell somebody 5 and then leave at 4.15. Yeah. No, 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 no that, that's, my exa that's exactly my point. I no. was supposed to be peaceably driving back by myself. <laughs> and that everybody yes. invited themselves to ride in my car. No, they didn't. No, we lost Jason a person. Was our ride. We lost yeah. a guy. He was our not ride my fault. Not yeah. my fault. <laughs> that is true. That was not your fault. It wasn't. But I rode back with Josh and Kessler. We had a perfectly nice time. Oh, so, good. Yeah. Yeah, I had my AirPods Yeah, I know on. we tried to call you and yeah, we texted you Jeff, multiple times. Jeff had an anxiety attack yes, trying Jeff to wake me up. Jeff was freaking out. Uh, yeah, it's and, we're, okay. and we're like, what room is she in? I don't know. She walked past ours, and we were like, I, we can't just beat up the door. But Kessler no. and I had decided 8.30. Yeah. And Kessler told me 8.30, so yeah. the problem was you just had to sit there for like four hours. I did. I read a book. <laughs> I couldn't go back to sleep. It was fine. I, when, I, when I went to bed, I was under the impression it was just going to be Christy and uh, Asuke, so... And so then when I then, and then I looked when I got up in the morning that some someone had texted oh Jess has been added to the field fine <laughs> get her up <laughs> get her up whatever Every, everything worked out it's okay with Tom you know that there's lots of oh, variables yeah. you know. know that everything know. is this, there, it's a spectrum this is why I choose to drive alone this is this all gets back to my point unless we're in this room. Or broadcasting <laughs> on the air. We should not spend any time with each other. I wasn't going to say anything. I don't anything. know why you guys continue to fly in the face of this. I wasn't going to say anything, but since you brought this up. So yeah. he walks around the car and he's sure loading he this stuff in. He comes around and Oscar's in the back. Yeah. Which means I'm in the front seat and uh -huh. he goes, Jeff, you sure you don't want to ride up front? <laughs> Well, Jeff's yeah. like 6'2", you're 4'11". I didn't take 11. Yeah. personally. No, I wanted Jeff to be comfortable. The back seat is less room. Yeah, he... Then I found out sleep. that he has serious anxiety about yes. being in automobiles. Right. He would have freaked out. 
Oh, I didn't know that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, he does. How does it uh, present itself? Is it something dramatic? Uh, It presents itself by him sleeping for the next four and a half hours. Oh, so he's he's good. I I never never did that. Apparently, uh, he (laughs) conquered it, and he. uh, uh, And then we stopped to pee, and he didn't even have to go. No, he never even. Now I'm thinking he's going to whiz all over my seats. (laughs) 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 My my favorite Tom story is we're driving somewhere. I don't know where we were coming. We were coming home, and it was the middle of the night, and he's. Sound asleep in the back seat, <laughs> and I'm driving along, and all of a sudden, from in the back, I hear, I got a piss! <laughs> <laughs> Just this like is, that! I prefer driving alone <laughs> under all circumstances. There was a group of us that drove there, and it was me and Jason and Josh <laughs> and Oske, and uh, and we're driving, and we see we see a car with a, with a plate that looks like Tom, and... Jason goes, oh, my gosh, that's Tom, that's Tom. And we drive by, and he has the biggest smile. Josh, maybe the biggest smile we've ever seen Tom have on his face, sitting in his car alone, uh, listening to his father. Yeah, just gr- <laughs> grinning, like literally grinning uh, ear to ear. Finally. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, peace. And you, you weren't doing it for their benefit. No, you didn't I didn't see him. I didn't see him. No. no. And you we were saw just, Pat, too. And yeah, Jason was like, roll the finger. window down, get his attention. I was like, I am not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but you truly were enjoying your time alone. Yeah. That's that's good for you. Incredible. And then what? That's 10 right. car lengths ahead of him was Godwin? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we did give him the finger. That threw me. All <laughs> the way. Just what did I do to that watch? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Pat can't get too far away from Tom. He has to. Oh, I have to be tethered. Good road trip right there. Yeah. Didn't make any errors. On, no. the way, on the way back, Christy corrected me twice, thus saving us several hours of going the wrong way. <laughs> there was That's a double good. red light when you got down there. That, that threw me. A double red light. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is weird. I'd never seen that before. In any event, let's get back to it. Uh, we have Christy Lee at the news desk. Have we missed anything? Yeah, there's a new study out there from the sexual wellness site Bed Bible that reveals which states have the most OnlyFan creators Per 100,000 citizens. Oh. Can we call that site anything else? Bed, <laughs> bed Bible. Gee, How about Mom's Guide to Porn? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How about that? So, wait a minute. This is quite oh, Hang surprising. on. It's called Bed Bible? Yes. Bed Bible. One yeah, of the that, big... That, that, uh, I don't really care is, for Bro Bible either. Yeah, that really that's, is in, inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Bed Bible is like, mm-hmm. yeah, that's right. Uh, my license plate, Mom69. Okay, <laughs> we're done. Oh. Wow, don't even say that. Oh. I'm saying... Uh, <laughs> no, one of the big sports uh, site. Yeah, it's Bro Bible. Yeah. yeah. It's all things bro. I right, guess, right. But, but, yeah. The top five states are in fifth place. Can we guess? Go ahead. These yeah. are for the amount you, of you, OnlyFans creators. Creators per 100,000 citizens. You'll uh, never get this. California and Florida in the top five. None. Not, really? Neither. Wow. Wyoming. Not in you, the top Utah, five. Utah. Utah. Nope. Nevada. Son of a gun. Oh, Nevada. Yeah, it's second. Number two. Number two. 56. Um, Son of a gun. Maine is in at five with 27 creators per 100,000 Maine. And North Dakota has 40. Well, you know, there's not a lot to do probably in North Dakota. You have <laughs> cold, cold That's the thing. freezing. Um, Hawaii in with 47 oh. per 100,000. Nevada, number two. And then Connecticut is your winner. There are 68 creators per 100,000 citizens there. And in Connecticut, 97% of those accounts based in and around New Haven. Wow. Each earning a, a median income of $427 per month. Not bad. Oh, okay. Now, is that yeah. taxed? Yeah. Yeah. I think they, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe not under $600. I don't know. Per month? Per month? No, no, no. That would add up. Oh, to yeah. You're right. Sorry. Sorry. Not yeah. annually. Yeah. Hmm. I yeah. don't know if OnlyFans would send you a. It's his own. They do, yeah. You oh. guessed Florida. Florida was uh, way down there. If, uh, I mean, in, with respect to Connecticut, it was the number was 68. Florida's 16. Wow. Because, yeah, I guess people well, who are maybe inclined to do OnlyFans in Florida and California have other avenues. They can go strip. They can do mm-hmm. other things. Okay. Or maybe the amount of people, the age group that would do OnlyFans is less in Florida because it's an older skewing state. Mm, I, don't I, don't know. Know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I wonder who the oldest person on OnlyFans is. Oh, I bet that's. I imagine that's probably that's probably a specialty. Sure. You think? Uh, uh, granny, uh, Granny Go Go, your uh, gilf come true or yeah. something. Right? Granny yeah, right. Go, you, you just thought of that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Granny Go Go, your gilf. Granny Go Go, your be, gilf, <laughs> your gilf come true. You should be writing for these people. Uh, I could be a consultant. 
I can do anything for money. Let me know. Sure. Yeah. I'll bet there is. What, I've never been on OnlyFans. Do you do you search by, is like a category? Would there Not be really. granny, granny gilf porno? Mostly you find them on other places and they go, hey, if you want to go to my OnlyFans oh. page, hit this link. Ah. So, yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure that's a specific. Oh, I, of course. Yeah. I mean, it, help me uh, with my hearing well, no, aid, you <laughs> dirty little no, boy. And oh, we, I, yeah, I bet you just really made somebody's. What day. if we? Uh, yeah, you think of two words and put them together, and you can find uh, sure n- 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 naughty stuff about it. Yeah, real world. He's, he's right. Yeah. This here, look, this sixty-nine-year-old is in OnlyFans top one percent. Really? Yes. Kaboom. But she probably doesn't look anywhere near 69. Is it a lady? The a top 10 best granny OnlyFans accounts. Okay, everybody, in 2024. shut up. <laughs> no, no, so, hang on a second. So to find this, did you go to Google, or do you, is there like a index on the OnlyFans? I Googled. There's not an index on OnlyFans. It's one of their uh, uh, flaws. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That it's not very searchable. They'll, when they, Once they fix that, it'll be... I wonder if uh, Connecticut is so high because people want... Amazon. Is there such a thing as wasp porn? Oh, uh, maybe. I mean, yeah. Yeah. there's is probably your a 78-year-old. There are a lot of white people in Connecticut? Uh, That's his assumption. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just English asking. Yeah, I'm no, not trying to I'm, start anything. I'm, jo- I'm not joking. I'm just asking if that would be why, if there's a... I don't know what the demographic if, if breakdown a, of do people, is. Do people search uh, their pornography based on their religious... Sometimes beliefs. I Maybe. mean, I don't. Is there are there for those, for example, of um, the Jewish faith? Do they have like? I know that all the dating services have very various Syn- synagogue religious... showdown or something. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to be. I'm just curious. I wonder if that if that would be a specific. I imagine you can go by um, uh, racial heritage, if you will. Yes, uh, I'm sure that's a category of various. Mm-hmm. Ethnicities, you know, Pacific Rim Rim jobs or something. Oh my! Okay, God. yeah. Again, we and were here, props. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 yeah he, <laughs> see, this is the time I, I, I never will forget talking to uh, oh Kevin God. Pollack one morning on this show, mm-hmm. and he, I thought we were having a nice, honest conversation about this, that, and the other, and I go see his stand up, and he's talking to the audience <laughs> in the same way he was talking to me on the radio show. He was doing his bits with me, much like you <laughs> are, Tom. I just made that up. Uh, Holy cow. What'd you find out there, Rim, Josh? rim job. Do you, did you see Sex Positive Granny? Is that the one you're looking at? Oh, yeah, look yeah. at this. Yeah, 76. 70. Hottest oh, so, teacher. Yeah. So is that, are those still photographs, or are these little videos, or do you... Is, is... Both. Yeah, pro- probably both. Ruby Mature, yeah. Filthy and then, Granny. And how much do you have to pay? Filthy Granny. <laughs> That's number two. How much do you have to pay? Uh, it, it, it varies. You can you can uh, charge, you, you go from free to mm-hmm. hundred, you know, this, whatever you want. Josh, I think we're, we're, we're leaving money on the table, as you like to say. I think you and I need to team up. Mm-hmm. We could. I've already got an idea for a lady called Victory Mature. Okay. All right. Are you going to do an AI lady? Is you know that what, what you're doing? Put that name in front of a focus group. And, yeah, I know. And stand back and good. be just amazed at the 2% of people who <laughs> know those, what you're trying to do. Those Victor who know Victor Mature. <laughs> Victor Mature. Victory Mature. Sex positive granny gets four ninety nine a month. And... Apparently, wait, wait, wait. how much? Four ninety nine a month, four dollars and ninety nine cents a month for a subscription. But then she can also charge per for, video. Per yeah, month. if she wants full nude, you got to pay extra for that. Mm. Yeah, there's okay. specific events. Yeah, upcharge. Okay. And what about uh, and they're tipping encouraged or something yeah. like that? Absolutely. Yeah. Pay what you can. Here's Jersey Gilf. <laughs> uh, she like claims that. to be the most authentic. Hi, I'm from Jersey. I'm Exit a, number nine. I'm in love with the Jersey. Uh, that is, this is entrance number one. <laughs> a female. Yeah, and of course, entrance, you know what entrance exit, number two is. Uh, yeah, it ain't the Lincoln Tunnel, Jack. <laughs> no, it's also exit number two. <laughs> that'll, cost you, that'll cost you an extra, <laughs> even if it's your birthday. Well, here, here you have, now you have hot Asian granny, so that takes age and ethnicity and combines them into one uh, gorgeous package, I imagine. How about oh. that? I bet they get really complex. You could have there Asian granny, granny. Here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got three, yeah, sure. You got three different things. <laughs> where are you? Uh, where are you looking this up again? The uh, Village Josh? Voice articles. One I read. Oh, I'm I'm on bust.com. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just what. I, I, Is that a search engine? <laughs> no, I oh. I search. Oh, because you use Google. I use yeah. DuckDuckGo. Oh, I use Google. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I got a Village Voice article. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Although bus.com bus. would be a great search engine for this type of thing. And it's weird how we're right on topic because that article just came out four days ago. So Listen somebody else was talking about it. An expert, this, this article came out two days ago in the New York Post. 
Britney Spears would make a hundred million a year on yeah. OnlyFans. Expert says. Yeah. An OnlyFans expert. Wow. wow. See, why wouldn't she do that? What? What is she? What the hell? What is well, it? just photos she's a and mother. videos. Yeah. Mothers, uh, she could spoil her children with that money. <laughs> <laughs> is that your? Uh, is that your interest? Your your get on OnlyFans would be Britney? No, but uh, I just yeah. think it's uh, it's, it's, it's more the the dollar figure yeah. than is it neuter or skimpy too? Is it the skimpy Both, outfit? Yeah. It's all <sighs> yeah. It's whatever. It's that's the good thing about OnlyFans. The creator, the content creator, is in charge. Mm -hmm. Whatever she's she or he are, are comfortable doing. That's what they do, and nobody else can tell them otherwise. Well, Britney's posted risque uh, photos and videos on Instagram. That's the thing. She's Instagram. close enough. Yeah. Now she's doing yeah. it for free. And everybody's seen her jine. Yeah. That picture, yeah, you can just Google that hole. immediately. <laughs> you know, I take back a boss.com, jine.com. <laughs> Would be the search. I engine. remember that. I remember people referring to it as Kojak at the time. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, was, and remember why she did that? Because she didn't want any DNA on her. It was kid. crazy. It was yeah. sad. It yeah. was sad. Yeah. Look, I'm a big Britney defender, but yeah. I think yeah. leave her alone. Okay. That's, well, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, in any event, Connecticut is the state with the most creators, yes. if you will. Yeah. How about that? And only fans. Man, they win everything, Connecticut. <laughs> okay. Now, um, when we come back, Christy, what have you got on the news? Uh, coming up, we have interesting music news out of uh, Russia, and we have Morgan Wallen getting arrested. Yeah, he I, might go to jail, right? He was really upset. His baby mama got married. <laughs> the last he should get arrested. I've, I've heard three of his songs. I'd put him in jail, too. <laughs> the guy's well, not country. He sucks. Very popular. He just hate sold him. out two shows here. Well, Big people time. have no taste. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> By Steve <Earl. laughs> These are all interesting Excuse points. Me. He's making good points. He's got to get back to uh, Tranny, Granny, Gilfs, whatever the hell he was looking at. Uh, we'll be right back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Even though we're not too much to look at, you can also watch the show on our YouTube channel. Okay. Um, I actually wrote a song for you guys. Oh, no. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did. Uh, you guys did a, uh, a story last week, and... Uh, I was listening to it on the on the plane ride on the way out. I'm a I'm a VIP member. Just want you to know that. Okay. I'm in LA. And so uh, I was listening to the show and you guys did a story that just knocked me out and where most people see tragedy, of course, I hear a song. Ah. And so I thought it would be uh, nice for my debut here on the Bob and Tom cool. show. Do a little tribute to you guys here. Okay. My wife was feeling frisky We'd been drinking whiskey That's when she said the magic words Baby, what you want? So I grabbed a roll of duct tape And a toy out of her nightstand And I hooked it to the end of my reciprocating saw Right next to her dresser I cranked up the air compressor Standing in my birthday suit With my safety goggles on I can't describe the beauty or how fast it shook her booty With an attachment you won't find In the saws all catalog <laughs> When the firemen arrived They just couldn't believe their eyes She cursed my name and shot me a look so fierce I said, honey, on the bright side You always wanted your lip pierced <laughs> They applied the pressure And they tried to stop the blood While I explained about our reciprocated love. <laughs> Someday we'll look back and laugh. Damn near cut my wife in half. <laughs> I am no magician, David Copperfield, I ain't. But she is my sweet baby. She is one tough lady. Not every girl could handle 40 stitches in her tank. <laughs> the doctors say that she'll be fine. She'll be back up on all four. Should have stuck to basics, my trusty craftsman drill. I get down on my knees and thank heaven up above. She will live to tell our grandkids about our reciprocated love. <laughs> wow. 
Brian oh, Hayner. All right. That's uh, Brian Hayner. Oh, uh, ow. Oh, back. Oh. oh, hey, Josh. What's wrong? My back is sore. My legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look. Nothing. Ah. Uh. Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. All see right. you later, buddy. Give it a... oh. Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific. <laughs> See you a... later. <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more. Hi, this is Pat Godwin from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? You don't want to do that. Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcasts. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> and we're way too young to waste precious time with Dick Wee. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll know one when you see one, because oh, yeah. he'll look a lot like me. <laughs> <laughs> Life's too short. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> Life's hey, just oh. way too <laughs> blank and short. Life's too short yeah. to hang out with a bunch of ass bags. <laughs> Hi, this is Nick Griffin, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Dwight Slade is our guest. <laughs> but I've been fired from every job I've ever had. That's true. I've never been. Have you really? Yes. Well, Personal <laughs> record, three hours at Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I got a plaque from the colonel. <laughs> I was 18. They hired me as a cashier. That's smart. Let's just take an aspiring comedian and put him in between fat people and their food. <laughs> mm. What could go wrong? Mm. I'm there three hours. This guy comes walking up to the counter. Yeah, what's the difference between your two-piece dinner and your four-piece dinner? <laughs> well, <laughs> let's take a look at it. Let me, let me get out my calculator. I'm going to have to log on to the internet here. I wonder if it could be two pieces of chicken. I wonder if that could be it. I wonder, I wonder if you could have figured that out. He sat in a honey pot like Pooh Bear and think, 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 think. Fired. Right now, Killer Bees joins us in the studio. Uh, Bees, how you doing? Real good, man. I well, get up a shopping you. list over here. My wife's eating in bed now. She's at that part of the pregnancy where they crave all this food. Mm -hmm. Some people have mirrors over the bed. We got a sneeze guard. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping on those posture pedic seal a meal, man. <laughs> hey, you ain't lived till you're making love, and your wife says, Go slow, I'm spilling my chili. <laughs> Bob and Tom 24 7. Not on air, online, all the time. Stand in the backseat. I mean, if anybody's going to be getting handed. Hilarious. <laughs> or, or Oscar K wakes one. up and he. <laughs> Where are we? And Aww. Christy's just going to death. Oh, now, if so you were in the back seat oh and you... Oh, my God, what's going and on? You, and you, you woke up and saw that. that yeah. Would you feign sleep? Would you continue to pretend to jump out of the car? I would, yes. go, I would roll back over and start... And I'd do this. Uh, okay, to let them know. Noise, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't Try to get them to break. don't drop your iPhone. First break all, the seal. No, could first we get of all, back? his car's so wide, I wouldn't be able to reach over yeah. there That's anyway. True. Yeah, yeah. Uh, need one of those pick, pick up stick things, yeah. like those what's this grabbers. <laughs> Oh, you know, we, we were talking grabber. about um, we were talking about oh, OnlyFans, the Reacher, yeah. and uh, Josh has been enlightening us. Uh, oh, 
Uh, well, I, I think I know more than you guys do uh, about it. Because so I've looked into it as a business opportunity. And, and Ch Chick and I go back a long way. And <laughs> Oh, yeah. There's a, there was a time when there was a dietary... This is tr true. Yes. There was a diet supplement called AIDS. Uh -oh. Not a spelled the same. A-Y-D-S. Mm -hmm. What? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not dietary more. chocolate candy. It was uh, advertised constantly, and obviously that became very inappropriate. I'm just wondering if there was a store at some mall called OnlyFans. Oh. You know, all they yeah. all oh. they sold were fans, and now I got, I got people. I got ladies calling. I'm talking dirty to me. What the hell's going on? Well, remember, and then uh, they uh, contacted the AIDS people, the AYDS, the diet supplement, and they said, "Hey, we named this AIDS before the uh, uh, the for the CDC or whatever." Yeah. No, sorry. Yeah. Well, it was ours first. Let them change their name. Wow. I think they did it. Remember when Uber that. meant uh, like extra? Sure. sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Something, yeah. something was like Uber man. Uber something, and now that Uber means well, they what they took a taxi there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This this will happen to things. I think things get confusing. I, but my question was, uh, Josh, on these um, OnlyFans pages, are they called pages or sites? Uh, I, I don't know what sites are. profiles profiles yeah maybe yeah. profile yeah, yeah. Best is the, can you uh, do they have ones with, with certain like religious themes why are you going there because I'm just wondering like how like if it was a if it was a Baptist only fans with mm -hmm. the dirty part be showing them dancing <laughs> okay yeah oh, oh, I see okay. what you're saying did you see those filthy square dancers or the Mormons <laughs> drinking a cup of coffee at yeah. Starbucks yeah. Uh, uh, you know something. I would think though, if you're if uh, somebody of a religious uh, bent, yes, I bet they look for the people, women that aren't in their well, it's, same they, religion, yeah, right? Because it's taboo and naughty and right. Now, would, uh, speaking of taboo, would you would you think it would be a, a turn on for someone who is a Mormon? To watch a naked woman drinking coffee? Of course. I mean, well, well. I mean, not as... <laughs> look. <laughs> I don't think I don't, it's the coffee. Yeah. <laughs> but there is something to be said for the uh, forbidden fruit. Sure. Right? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Okay, we go back to Adam and Eve on that. What are you talking about? Yeah. So is the specificity of the weirdness... Look, you can find probably anybody on... on you were saying a few, there, there's, uh, there's a, uh, porn with people smoking? Oh, there's smoking porn, yeah, yeah. They think that's a little weird? Yeah, that's not for me. <laughs> like while they're doing it? Yes. Oh, and or, you know, what? certain activities. Do they have an right? ashtray or do they? I don't. I Look, that's not necessarily my thing, so I haven't watched a okay. full smoking vid. I mean, you have to hold, you, does someone holding their hand out the whole time so they don't, <laughs> they don't put an ash in the... Where do they for all I know, smoke? they could, hey, ash on my thigh because right. uh, that's... They're into tap, it. Yeah, yeah. You know, tap that ash. Uh, yeah. There's probably, <laughs> if you wanted to be uh, honest, I'm sure there's something that you like that uh, none of us know about. and You, you will never You'll find it. it. Yeah, you can find it. We don't want to know. If I you like mean uh, loaves of white bread with uh, holes in them put in by large sticks, no. No, I mean... <laughs> what? Huh? I mean, your uh, uh, no, every, bib clinics. overalls and a country girl. No, everyone has their thing. And I the get dirty that. leg. Sure. I get that. I was just kind of wondering. If... Yeah, it's no, But you can't there, keep sure. saying things like, uh, uh, th do they have cigarette smoking? Well, that's weird. You can't, you well, can't no, I mean, do that. Because it's as not you weird said, for them. As you said, you combine any two words and you yes. get a specific... Yeah. Some of them, I think, may be rather odd. Like having, uh, Smoking you know. kind of makes sense to me because yeah. just how easily that could imprint on somebody. Yes. Mm. You're watching your first uh, HBO nudity, you know, a uh, movie with nudity, and, right. and your mom is smoking in, on and the couch. And you're in the sex line and OnlyFans going, yeah, my mom smoked Salem's. Are those Salem's? Yeah, see, I don't think it's that uh, much. It's not that conscious. I mean, it just no. happens in the back of your... Yeah. Oh, this is all very, very <laughs> deep. Seated. Okay. And with the amount of people not smoking anymore, it's probably a dying genre. Probably. Yeah. No, that makes it more taboo, I think. Okay. What you say? Man, okay. kids really aren't smoking, apparently. No, not at all. Vaping. The greatest. Right, right. They're all vaping. And they're stuff. All they have vaping. the nicotine patches. Yeah. Oh, oh. They're still do Trust me, they're finding yeah. terrible oh, things yeah. to do. But, uh. What do they call them? <laughs> cheek pillows? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They yeah. do? Oh, oh, yes. I bet we're going to find out vaping and those are worse than smoking. They've I guess already. so. Yeah. Well, those are, I think, causing massive amounts of, what is it, lip, tongue, and yeah. Yeah, that's bad. jaw cancer. Well, and the vaping, they are saying, is worse. It's killing your lungs. Sheesh. Yeah. Well, uh, on a brighter note, Yes. Do you have the mouse story? I think this is fascinating. 
Women, um, uh, and I'm talking to you two women. Uh -huh. yes. Women, are yes. you? <laughs> yes, go <Women>. ahead. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so sorry it <laughs> came okay. out like that. Don't you mean uh, woman's? <laughs> I just got ahead of my question. Are women really that afraid of mice? Do you get? I'm not. Oh, I, I, I I am, but talking about an imprint story, one time <laughs> my dad caught a mouse in the garage before school and I wouldn't get out of bed and he was like, you got to wake up, you're going to be late. And I said, no. And he, mouse in the trap... Dangled, oh. dangled oh. the mouse tail over my nose, and that's how I woke up. And I'm terrified. Of to course, this day, you are. I'm still terrified. Yeah, oh. I yeah. can't imagine how that. <laughs> I, 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 I'm so scared. That makes perfect sense. Okay. Yeah. I um, we um, uh, I was at a friend of mine's garage, and they had a um, old-fashioned rat trap. You know, the kind that has that spring thing with. Oh, that yeah. looks kind of like a small bear trap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Boy, that hurt. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. wow. We were like idiots trying. How does this work? Right. Um, Whack. Tom, yeah. if you wanted cheese, we have some in the kitchen. Yeah. No, I, <laughs> no, I am not afraid of mice at all. Okay, yeah. It's just an old, uh, like, stereotype I of a woman cute. jumping on a stool. Yeah. Yeah. I am. Mm -mm. I think they're cute, too. You're afraid of mice? Yeah, well, yeah if you walk too, in yeah. your basement, there's a mouse in there. Yeah. I think it's real cute. What do you think it's oh. going to do? I don't know because I love <laughs> I, I, I dance out of the room <laughs> me. like I'm, well, never mind. I yeah. think instinctually we're supposed to be afraid of them because they do spread disease. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, yeah. They're, yeah. they're cute. Right, yeah, I know, they are does really your cute. Cat, oh, your cat's not an outdoor cat, so he doesn't bring you mice. No, no. Oh, yeah. my cat does all oh, the time. Oh, yeah, that's what they're all for. All the time. Gifts. Yes. No. Yes. So anyways, Birds, we, we cats, got people. There's no higher compliment. We yeah. have people experimenting with mice all the time, of course. And uh, this one is... Um, is this the, the toilet rat story? No, this is the um, Gulbenkian Science Institute. I don't have a story. I don't know what you're talking okay. about. <laughs> is Gulbenki a place? Yeah. Um, it's uh, scientists say they inadvertently made a mouse grow legs. <laughs> oh! Oh, that was from yesterday. Uh, in place of its genitals. Oh, yeah. my gosh. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, I've heard yeah, of a guy right. having a foot, but uh, <laughs> uh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, a biologist at oh, the uh, Gulbenkian yeah. Science Institute were analyzing the differences in mice with and without a uh, certain gene. The TGFBR1 gene. Yes, what happened? Well, after turning off the gene in one mouse, it ended up growing six legs, two of which grew instead of genitalia. Oh, boy. Scientists <laughs> found that despite the rather dramatically different placement, the extra legs were similar to those found in normal mouse limbs. Oh. Now, I mean, a, lot of guys have, a lot of guys have wished for a third leg. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Not, like that. Not oh. a fifth and sixth. <laughs> you know, this is... We don't hear about these kind of stories very often. Yeah, yeah. You know? But I'm sure the science... The mishaps in the lab. I'm yeah. sure the scientists go, well, wait a minute, so you're telling me we can grow leg-sized genitalia? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got, a, I got an OnlyFans idea here. We'll, we'll, make, we'll make thousands of dollars. Which would you rather have, a leg there or an arm that comes out of the middle of your chest? Oh, my goodness. Mm. So you'd have your two arms and then another arm in the middle of your chest. That'd be convenient. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, going arm work? chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It works? Well, yeah. I, I could probably bench press 250 if I had Because <laughs> if you had a leg there, you'd be like just a walking tripod. Yeah, none weird. of your pants would fit. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. But you, you, you'd kick ass in those three-legged races, yes. though. Hey, at the family picnic. <laughs> Wait oh, a look, George is here again. <laughs> and the year with the third leg. <laughs> That's where you hustle. <laughs> three-legged race. Oh, you gotta go arm chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. chest. yeah, you gotta go chest. He always goes, I'm never late for anything. We know, George. You can have a knife, fork, and spoon <laughs> yeah, all at once. Yeah. So, again, they... You could just <laughs> shovel it in with two hands. So it doesn't say... So this these these mice that they breed, they have... Instead of genitalia, they have legs. They can't live long, can they? I would not think well, so. Well, they can't reproduce, obviously. No. Right. Oh, so they still have the... I see. The, so they would still have a urinary and... Def oh, defecatory. Mm -hmm. would, I would assume it would come out of the big toe. I mean, that only it, makes oh, sense. Yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or the armpits. Okay, good. Absolutely. <laughs> Anything if, else would be if, silly. If you could alter, alter your body so that you urinated out of a different place, where would it be? Uh, my, my index finger. Yeah, that'd be really convenient. Yeah. 
<laughs> hey, are you, are you doing a drawing? No, no, no. no I'm, I'm, Hang on, I'm going to the bathroom. Hey, where's that trash can? I'm going to the bathroom. But doesn't that sound, ah. Pat, your idea sounds like one of those Why commercials. Not? It's new point and piss from Rovco. Now, how much would you pay? <laughs> are you tired of reaching into your trousers and getting your penis? <laughs> uh oh. Pick your nose and accidentally waterboard yourself. You don't make love yeah, with that. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, it's time to go back to being adults when we return. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Become a Bob and Tom VIP and get your Bob and Tom fix It's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. I'm Donnie Baker, and I'm going to be a pro baseball player. I swear to God I am. A lot of people think you get in your mid-30s and your career's over, but like I always say, until they stop scouting, I ain't going to stop playing. The fact remains, I'm probably the best player I know of. My Little League coach held me back because his son had a decent curveball. There's a certain range I've got, but I basically put my hopes in this. I had a full-ride scholarship to play ball at the University of Phoenix, but I had Tommy John surgery on both knees, so I don't, can we stop now? I'm also a pitcher, I can pitch. I've got what they call a rubber arm. I can throw right-handed for days, I can throw left-handed for days. A lot of people, you know, it's, uh, I'm basically amphibious. So I've told coaches before, put me on the mound. The secret to pitching for me, is I like to check the runner when there's nobody on base. Throws a hitter off, I swear to God it does. This is third base. I've been there before, but usually it was after proms, man. But I probably know more about the scoring position than anybody I know of. Basically, my knowledge of the game, I've been taught in different ways, but I've also invented things. I like to get my lead at third base backwards. 
That way the pitcher thinks there's nobody even here. It's a lot easier to steal home. And with my martial arts expertise, I've been trying at discount karate to scissor kick the catcher and I could even break his karate artery if I had to. So there's no chance of a Pete Rose situation at home. I win it every time, especially if I got my wish shirt on. Tube if you're not a lard queen or like pork. <laughs> I ain't even gave my pager number, man. Donnie, all right, I'm not going to do this anymore, Donnie. Get back to work, Randy. You oh. screwed it up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Mike Birbiglia, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Isle of Palms, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. it's Beautiful from, place. This is from USA Today. Beachgoers who build sandcastles will have to knock them down before leaving under a proposed... <laughs> Proposal being considered by the city council. Here, here. Oh, really? The uh, ocean getting lazy, is What's it? Yeah. The, unsightly, <laughs> the unsightliness Are we of making sand the castles? ocean work too hard? What the hell? Is this a problem? Violators serious? could get a ticket from $128 to $500. $500? All right, little boy. Oh, sure. That's it's a... according to square footage, I think. We're assessing that sandcastle. That's going to cost you 1200 bucks a year. Uh, oh, my God. They have nothing better to do. It, it turns out that, yeah, the problem is that... Uh, people trip. People were leaving huge moats. And, really? Uh, yeah, they were falling, break, breaking their legs, falling in the moat. I see. Break a hip. Uh, so so maybe sure, they should sure. make moatless uh, sandcastles. That's no fun, Bob. You can't have Now with no moats. Moat. The, the whole point <laughs> is to have the... the Why the, do you need a moat? To protect your sandcastle. Uh, yeah. This is why only men make sandcastles. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> is that yeah, why? This is because I've they figure the, the sandcastle is the perfect metaphor for their life. They work hard, build something, and then a woman comes along and it gets washed away. <laughs> But it's strange living back in America, you know. I've, I mean, America is like a foreign country to me in a lot of ways. Why? I just, I don't know. Things are weird. You know, I have friends that don't eat bread anymore. Everybody's on a low-carb diet. No. And Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on a low-carb diet. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down a little bit. <laughs> We want to look good in the painting. Essential <laughs> Morning Radio. All day and all night. Really? <laughs> no, seriously. Really? But... <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey. There's Jess Hooker. Can't wait to see what she uh, tastes, what you've uh, cooked for us today. No, I, I didn't cook anything. Son today. of a... There's Josh Arnold. Hello. Over at the I Hate Steven Singer <laughs> sidekick chair. I guess it's bagels. There's Ace Cosby. I'm Chick. And here's Tom with his hand raised. Yeah, I, I, we're going to get to this new song from Pat Godwin that I enjoyed so much. Uh, your Jackson Brown tribute, if you will. But yes. I want to ask uh, Ms. Hooker, as an independent observer. Sure. We had an interesting story about uh, some dirt bag that stole a bunch of stuff from a minor league baseball team, including their so-called swear jar, mm -hmm. which got us into a discussion of um, if you swear with a swear jar, do you um, vary the fees depending on the word? And if so, what would be the most? In other words, um, would the S word, say, be a dollar? Uh, um, I think there's tiers. I think there would be like the D word, the S word. Now, where would G, D, word? and the C word fall? I think that's mid. The C word is probably the F and the C word. And oh. then and then the religious words that nobody likes, the J, C, and the G, D. I don't know. For some people, that's a big one. In the a lot of people, uh, a lot of people, yeah. a lot of people I, the GD is number one. My mom, that was her uh, big. And it is for a lot of people. Yeah. I've got to be very careful because I say them both a lot and it's very offensive. The, man, they do, but they hit. They, they do. do. They <laughs> yeah. do. That's the thing. And it feels good they inside. Do. No. <laughs> no. It really Speaking helps. Speaking of hitting, Chick has heard this story before. This is absolutely true. Well, the first time I ever owned a house, I had a, um, a guy that was uh, over there doing some carpentry stuff. Of course. Mm -hmm. And he was an older gent and a real nice guy. Oh, yeah. Remember this? And this yeah. guy was doing something, and he hit his thumb with his hammer. 
Ouch. Oh. And he went, Mother Fletcher. <laughs> I, I don't know why That's that so struck good. me as being so that funny. Is, yeah. That, that is obviously good. it was that was his go-to. Yeah. Um, My go-to is bad. Mine is Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. And then I go, oh, why? That's kind I of a prayer, though, the yeah, way you do it. Yeah, right? it is. Still, That's true. No, still, that no. is not. It doesn't. Go- no, it's bad. <laughs> and I always say, oh, I'm so sorry, God. I didn't mean and that. And Jesus but, is oh. crying. As I know. Saying, so are Joseph and Mary. Yeah, yeah they're when all. Did, uh, when did your kids start cursing in front of you? I don't know, but I remember the first time I said the F word in front of my mother. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How'd was- that go? <laughs> I was at a marriage, a major department store, and I was in junior high school, and we were buying a skirt. And she said, "I don't think you need to get that skirt." And I go, "I f and think I do." Yeah. <laughs> well, I bet, I'm, I'm guessing you f and didn't. <laughs> You're right. I did not get the skirt. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, oh, I remember. Yeah, my that kids like didn't start yesterday. cursing until they rode with me. In other words, yeah. when they were born. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I well, said uh, I said a curse word in front of my grandparents. My mom, my mom's mom and dad. I stayed over one summer, and uh, they were we were having breakfast. And my grandpa said, "Would you like some uh, bacon?" And I said, "I don't know why." To this day, I don't want any of your raunchy ass bacon. <laughs> That's so funny, is that what is I said. Funny. And I don't know why I said it to this day. I don't. Did the, did he in fact have a bad bacon? Because I mean, I bacon don't. Is usually no, but he started laughing. And were you trying to make uh, him laugh? Is that uh, the... no? I wasn't. But okay. Chick McGee was born. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We so. Just watched the Modern Family episode where little Lily's in the wedding, and she says the F word. Oh, yeah. so, yeah. so funny. Yeah. Yeah. So when your girls, if <laughs> they said the a bad word, and you do you giggle? Did you like? That was the you know you do gist of this yeah. whole episode. Whether do we... no, I called up their mother and I said, "This is hilarious. You're not going to believe." <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I uh, we have a, a corrective measures that are taken. Of course, have you done this? I'm sure you have, but has it uh, worked out? Have you told one of your uh, tiny kids, little kids, uh, "Hey, okay, we can do this, but let's not tell your mom." <laughs> and they they sing like canaries yeah, when they get yeah, or I... or has anyone effectively kept the secret? No. no. No, it's never no. happened. No. Uh, I have said things to my nieces and nephews, like, you can say that around me. Right. Just don't say it around, you know, your parents or whatever. And you know who hates that? <laughs> Their parents. Are, are the parents. My brother and yeah. Yeah. his sister-in-law. No, I'm going to be, okay, I got mommy this present. And yeah. fast forward. Oh, this, yeah, that's And just... they go, what is it, daddy? Now, if I tell you, you can't tell your mommy. That... When I get home the next day, well... Mom Where knows. are the earrings? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You mean the earrings that I secretly told Finn not to tell you about? Yeah. Those earrings? Hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. There we go. Kids well, are rats. Uh, yeah. No, what's up? Dirty rats. Yeah. Speaking Snitch. of rats. Snitches get stitches. Yeah. We have rats in the news coming up. But right now, I wanted to uh, have Miss Hooker hear something new from Pat Godwin. Yesterday, obviously, for many Americans, uh, was it 50 million plus? They got to see the... Uh, yes. In, well, in, in, in person... You know, uh, what do they say? Feet in the ground, looking up at the sky, seeing the total eclipse. It was amazing. But Google searches for the phrase, eyes hurt, did spike during the solar eclipse. <laughs> According to the Wall Street Journal, search terms like eyes hurt, my eyes hurt, <laughs> saw a significant uptick around the time the moon began to pass between the earth and the sun. <laughs> my eyes, my God, my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hurt. Is it, isn't, there, isn't there a Darwin component to this? Yes. yes. You've been yes. getting warned about this for months. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, the uh, I don't know, just if, if this is the side effect of being a moron. Uh, Unless you got duped by some awful, awful s- sunglass salesman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, can, yeah. Can you imagine that underground factory? Yeah, yeah. So what? They go blind. We don't care. Yeah, yeah I give you 100 of them for $4. <laughs> now, this is the uh, safety number on now, the side and, and by the way, this is a real question. Is there a place to recycle those things? Yes. There is a uh-huh. website yeah, you, know. you can mail them back to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, can we, well, let's find out what it is because I've got... You know, 30 of them or something. Pat, how did you do? Did your glasses work? Did you behave yourself? Well, I forgot to wear my special glasses Uh-oh. yesterday for the purpose of this bit. So uh, okay. we're going to slow this down a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Doctor, my eyes have seen the sun. Well, I thought it would be fun without glasses. Now all I see is a blurry fog. He says you've burned the macula, which is part of the retina. Could be blinded by a cane or get a dog. <laughs> Doctor, my eyes, oh, I 
looked at the eclipse. That was unwise. <laughs> no more dart championship. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, <The whoa>, <laughs> yeah. I got a letter from some guy. You know, they have blind darts, you know. Oh, well, sure. Yeah, okay. Oh. Sorry, sir. We were doing a joke. joke, you see. You know, I was looking at the corona yesterday, staring at it without my glasses like you could. But then the sun started to come back, and you forget how strong it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. And I just caught a corner of it. Yes. Like, oh, my God. Yeah, I yeah. one doctor going, look, it's uh, animals and human beings naturally know not to stare at the sun. Of course. Yeah. So, you know, unless you're an idiot, which we'll have sure. a handful of those. Astronomers Without Borders have been sending solar glasses for uh, total solar eclipses from t since 2008. They send them all over across the world for the next So we can eclipse. recycle these things. Mm -hmm. okay. Astronomers That's what it says. Yes. Okay. Do they yep. donate them or resell them? You can go to astronomerswithoutborders.org and you can find out how. I, I'm sure they donate them. I would hope Hey, so. uh, can you boy, clear the, oh the, 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 the flies are on the goop in that kid's eye and see if he'll give me a buck? Oh, <laughs> You're just so cynical, aren't you? When it yeah. comes to things like that, I just it's <laughs> tough. Is that right? They yes. Give them the glasses for God's Maybe sake. Maybe it is a nonprofit. Thank you. They're Thank you, Pat. I hope so. It is a Teach. nonprofit. If you're gonna bother, or if you're gonna borrow from Doctors Without Borders, I would hope it's <laughs> on the up and up. Yeah. yeah that's this a, is that's from a, the yeah. NPR website. I think it's up and up. Well, already. I thought so until you said it was from the NPR website. <laughs> <laughs> you only have to donate the left eye glass. <laughs> oh, because they lean. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> you know something. Speaking of leaning. Maybe you're leaning because you're, uh, the bottoms of your feet aren't being properly supported. Is what? that right, Josh? Yes. My gosh, that can cause you to lean. I mean, maybe your foundation is just weak. Have you have you considered that? Maybe you're worthless and weak. Maybe yes. That's yeah. It. Yeah. You know what'll help? What? Orange and souls. <laughs> that's right. They'll help you get stronger. Yep. If you have back pain, hip pain, knee pain, you know how it affects your daily routine. It's no fun. And it may be because you have a sad thin liner in your shoe. My gosh, that's offering you zero support. Go to orangeinsoles.com. They offer arch support and a deep cup to properly support your heel, your feet, and therefore your whole body. These are perfect for anybody who works on their feet, and it helps alleviate any pain and discomfort you may have. Think of a table. If it wobbles without proper support, it ain't no good. Just like your foundation. Great for work boots, sneakers, dress shoes, you name it. And you can find the right fit at orangeinsoles.com by taking their insole quiz. Answer a few questions. They'll get you hooked up with exactly what you need. No cutting required. Orange insoles are true to size. Head there now, orangeinsoles.com. They have free shipping. Plus, orange insoles come with a 60-day, we want you to be happy guarantee. So there's nothing to lose here except that discomfort. That's orangeinsoles.com. Feel better. Do more. Thank you very much. Remember, your feet are three-dimensional. You might want to take care of the bottoms of them. That's what Orange Insoles are all about. Thank you, Orange Insoles, for being part of our special NCAA basketball tournament challenges. We certainly appreciate you, Orange Insoles. Thank you. Now, uh, coming up, we have um, Octopus. Mm -hmm. uh, and did you know this? I found something out while doing this research. Um, octopus and octopi and octopuses are all correct. Oh, okay. Mm. As well as octopodes. What about sweet, sweet octopodes? What about that sweet, sweet, what about sweet, sweet octopodes? Uh, I thought that was. Isn't it octopods? I thought it was. Uh, I thought octopodes. Octopodes was when you uh, weren't so sure of something. <laughs> octopodes. <laughs> I, I, he is right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's, no? that's, that's that's right. I forgot. Yes, in the world of well, I, 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 yes. I suppose, and in the world of the world of idiots, <laughs> that's correct. I like that's speaking, right. I'm the mayor. Speaking, speaking of idiots, we're coming right back. Thank you. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Larry Reeb, Uncle Larry. It's a sick world, and I'm a happy guy. Ready and action. Hey, we should wake up every morning with Bob and Tom. That sounds good to me. No problem here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that'd be my fault. The hell was that? Ready and action. Hey, we should wake up every morning with Bob and Tom. Well, that sounds good to me. No problem here. How's it going? Morning. Hey, 
Hey, hold on there, kid. I'm Bob. And I'm Tom. From the Bob and Tom Show. We thought we'd barge in. God. There's a new one. <laughs> hey, kid, hold on there. I'm Bob. And I'm Tom. From the Bob and Tom Show. We do a morning radio show here in town. Here's the deal. We thought we'd break into your house. <laughs> Consarn it. <laughs> Shoot. Darn it. Honey, I'm home. Oh, great. Fish again. <laughs> you know, we can vote you off this commercial. You know, Chick wanted Richard Hatch. <laughs> what if we paid you to say you liked us? <laughs> I think that we can vote you off. Okay. Come way down. And now the news. Oh. You do sports. And now, and now the sports. <laughs> that would be you, Chick. Sports terms that sound dirty, but they're not. No, oh, really. Ready? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Coming in first place. <laughs> Good. Palming the ball. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Taking it to the hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just don't get your holes mixed up. Right. Ooh. Just don't get your holes mixed up. <laughs> Flip the cord over. Flip the cord over. I don't well... want it in my... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's what they're looking for here. <laughs> don't... Christ. All How right. many times have I heard, heard that? that. <laughs> Take two... <laughs> A London homeowner who discovered three men trying to rob his house had no difficulty in describing one of the suspects. He had no legs. Ooh, Ooh usually in crime, it's the... <laughs> <laughs> usually in crime, it's the police that are stumped, not the criminals. I know you guys probably aren't interested, but guess what I did this weekend? I don't know. I don't know. Did you uh, impeach Bush? <laughs> no. B buzz the honey hole? <laughs> no. Flick the minnow? Did you flick the minnow? <laughs> Flicking the old minnow? Oh, Flicking wow. the minnow? Or did you impeach Clinton? Bailing out the gravy boat? Is that what you were doing? <laughs> Finger the fountain? <laughs> Sounds like wow. a wonderful time, but no, I didn't do any of those things. Sorry. Oh, what um, a boring weekend. Yeah, <laughs> Move on. Yes. Bounce the bearded clam? <laughs> Did you yeah, attend yeah. the clam twiddling jamboree? <laughs> That's it. I That's what I did. Get to that or not? Yeah, I double dribbled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tom did. I uh, just took his only uh, line. <laughs> it's okay. I like to think of Bob as the funny. <laughs> It's part of the drinking act. <laughs> I like to think of Bob as the funny one, and I'm more the philosophical one. Ah, really? By the way, you left your headlights on. Socrates. <laughs> <laughs> What's new? Did the other, can you do the other That's line? It? That's it. That's it. That was the <laughs> joke? Yeah, what was That's the other it? Line? This one right here. I think of Bob as the funny one. I'm more of the philosophical one. Really? Will you shut up and drink your hemlock, please? <laughs> <laughs> I told you to be too hip for you. Hemlock, you know. Hemlock. Socrates. What is it? Poison. Poison. Start with H. You want hemlock? <laughs> Headlights? What's next? <laughs> Hemorrhoid. Hemorrhoid. <laughs> Hey, hi, it's Tom from the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for watching this morning's show. To listen, just go to bobandtom.com. Check out the list for a station near you or stream the online radio station on our website and the Bob and Tom app. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. Pistons, former champs of basketball. <laughs> I have so many souvenirs, it's hard to list them all. I have piston pants, <laughs> I have piston shorts, <laughs> I have piston beer mugs. Sometimes people don't even notice. <laughs> I have piston.
Dropped in ashtrays, I have piston shoes. I have piston basketballs. When I dribble, they do too. <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We've got the, uh, the post-eclipse hangover. Did you take a shot for every minute the uh, sun went away yesterday, like I did? <laughs> four, four minutes. Right, four well, I told you, I had one of my dogs with me, and as soon as the thing was over, he went, All right, <laughs> it's time for lunch. Let's go. Lunch time. This is very visual, but doesn't Jess Hooker today look like the woman who, bad guy in Superman who works with General Zod? Yes. The, the bad three, guy. Oh, the three. The three uh, <laughs> yeah, there's two dudes. There's two dudes in a and woman. A, yeah. yeah. And you, the kind of way, the way you're dressed and your hair look like. Uh, and they're, they're flying through the, sp- the villainous through space. And they're villainous. Oh, okay. Villainous. You're a woman. So I am the woman. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're a bad guy woman. Oh, okay. okay. They're stuck in, yeah. Uh, yeah. In that and they have, super pain. Power. <laughs> they have superpowers, too, when they get Yeah, there. yeah. Because yeah. they're from uh, Krypton or whatever. It's a cool look. Thanks. Now, yeah, um, it's not an insult we, at all. We've been okay, talking about um, mice that are being experimented with, and uh, some scientists inadvertently created mice that have uh, no genitals but have an extra two legs there. <laughs> yeah. I'm Is kidding. it extra two? Yeah. I thought it was just one. No, it was no, two. Two. So they have f- six, six legs. legs. Six legs, yeah. Six-legged freaks? Yeah. Well, they're, they're doing experiments with... Uh, <laughs> Gene- what is it? What do you call it? Genetic mutation? I don't know. It's, it's very uh, shouldn't be happening, really. Well, no, no. They're, they may discover something else while working on this. Well, why uh, don't they just have the mommy mouse to smoke or drink alcohol? They or do that. They do all well, that's kinds my of thing. Things. What were they trying to figure out? Do you know? What did it say in the story? What did they say? Sorry to bother you. The most hideous <laughs> creature in the. F- <laughs> oh, like I get all the information. That's, well, that's calm not down. <laughs> All right. They were yeah. analyzing differences in mice with and without functioning versions of this particular gene. The TGFBR1 oh, yeah. gene. And after turning off the gene in one mouse, it ended up growing six legs, two of which grew instead of the genitalia. You can't mm. tell me that some of these guys are doing these experiments on these mice are turned on by the mice. Okay. What? Oh, yeah. Why how do you many do can I, How many can I cram inside? Oh, uh, no. Oh, that's right. Well, well. How many? He's onto us something. A double vagina. <laughs> They're trying to yeah, see if they can grow double. other things, I guess. That's yeah. right. Um, yeah. Boy, this gets that really complicated. Fun. They want to generate structures necessary for the body's, quote, I'm not kidding, exit channels. Ooh. I assume that means what? poop shoot. <laughs> you mean poop shoot? <laughs> Why well, you got your you know, orifice really uh, helps yeah, expel, yeah. yeah. Uh, Oh, I see. See, so there's got more of the, of the channel. So you got pores, cha- which yeah, you can, channel yeah, one, pores. urethra. You can channel vomit. two, yeah. poop shoot. <laughs> Is your mouth considered an yeah, yeah, probably an exit? Yeah. 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 Channel three, the mouth. puke. Have you ever been? Uh, anybody, anybody ever ask you, are you a man or a mouse? Anybody ever say that? What? Uh, that sure. Was, Wasn't that a big thing? That was a cartoon thing, usually. Was it? Yeah. I you thought a man that was or a, a mouse. I'm a yeah, mouse. I thought, I thought, I thought old movies and stuff. Yeah. Or like a uh, Leave It to Beaver episode or yeah. something. Come on, Wally. I'm not a mouse. You know? <laughs> oh, you insinuating know? that you're not very, you're. Yeah, a man or a mouse. Yeah. Okay. No, do you have the rat Thank story? You. Yes, I this do. This is a rat. whole world is rats. rats. A Canadian man was hospitalized after he was bitten by a rat that crawled out of his toilet. He's now rat man. <gasps> Uh, the 76-year-old was trying to remove the rodent from his toilet bowl when it bit two of his fingers. Son of a bitch. He received a tetanus booster at a Montreal hospital. but This had furry to return- turd just bit me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. It's got teeth and everything. Oh, my God, there's a tail. What did I eat? You know something? If, if I, you know, when I'm 76 years of age, if I've got a live rat in my toilet, mm-hmm. I'm moving, mm-hmm. and then I, or I'm calling somebody. I'm not going to reach in there with my hand. Yeah, maybe well, it's, maybe it's his homestead. He's lived there his entire life. Then get a stick, for God's sake. Well, it doesn't say how he was trying to remove it. Well, it, it, you said it bit two of his fingers. It, it could have been holding the stick. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he did receive the tetanus booster, but had to return 18 days later after experiencing fever, headaches, and abdominal pain. After showing signs of multi-organ dysfunction and sepsis, yeah, the brown plague. He had to be admitted to the ICU. Holy hell! Where doctors determined oh. he developed. Uh, it's called leptospiriasis or Wiles disease. He got bit. Mm-hmm. It was okay. Got this booster, and all of a sudden, all hell broke loose. Mm. 
He did recover, Josh, following Thank a you, combination of treatments. <laughs> Fascinating. And Dear, now he's rat man. Rat man, yes. right? Dear That's scary. Clear minded John. <laughs> Weren't rats responsible for the black plague? Wasn't that the The yeah. fleas on the rats. Okay, okay. I found out. Yeah. Fleas Yikes. on the rats. <laughs> Rat on the rats. Rats. Do you have a rat song for us, Pat? Well, rat, rats would um, move to music when they're uh, put to human music. They would uh, actually move their bodies. Did oh, that's right. That? They like dance, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Their heads, uh, nodding their heads in rhythm to the beat, I yeah. think. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Rats can dance, oh, rats can move, looking cool as they shuffle their feet. Oh, look at that. Taunt that cat digging the dancing <laughs> rat. Dancing rat. Friday night and the river's low. <laughs> Dirty rat has no place to go. <laughs> then he hears the music. His tail starts to swing. Travolta's no longer king. <laughs> you are the dancing rat. Dressed in spats on your tiny feet. <laughs> oh, sing it with me. Dancing, dancing rat. rat. Feels the beat from the New York street, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, rats can dance, <laughs> rats can move, and Ratatouille proved anyone can cook. Oh, <laughs> look at that, <laughs> in his top hat, digging the dancing rat. Ooh, <laughs> the dancing rat. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. They won't dance to the Stray Cats, though. Oh, no, they have <laughs> yeah, no, no. Favorite, uh, favorite uh, musician for, <laughs> favorite singer, rather, for Rats to Dance Through, Sinatra. What? Rat, Rat, Rat Pack? Pack. Oh. oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> no? Cute. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> dancing hamsters, maybe. I, um, well. Don't you like Dancing Queen? As yes. You would say, a great from, song. From ABBA? I, He's not an ABBA fan. If it pops up on the radio, I'm... Going to react fairly quickly. To change, change my life. Waterloo, no. Oh, I love no, it all. The 50th right. anniversary of Waterloo was just yesterday. No kidding. Yes. Oh, that battle happened way longer. Yeah. Than the song, it. you wonderful yes. human being. <laughs> So, I mean, to me, it's like that's. I like get the a, feeling that's not what she wanted to say. <laughs> that's like naming a love song, DJ. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stop oh, it. Come on, it's the greatest. It's hard not to yeah, You're right. You can't. You're it's happy. Is that Liberace on the piano? No, it's uh, uh, no, somebody way gayer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not. That's not easy. Frank Nafa. Or... All right. Oh, I don't. I've heard it before. <laughs> okay. Oh, having the time of your life. You killed it. Please. All right. You know, I got this. Boy, oh, who's playing bass? Boy. Dickie Betts. That's true, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he just, if Dickie uh, Best were playing bass, would that change your mind? They hired him. Uh, First of all, Dickie primarily played Les Paul. Uh, played bass just reading songs. a book about uh, the great uh, album Brothers and Sisters. There's an, a book about it? It's great. Oh, great. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's really cool stories about, actually, about the formation of Skinnerd. Yeah. And how uh, Capricorn Records turned them down. Well, first they got oh, uh, yeah, one guy, then they had a couple guys. Oh, those guys were yeah. high school buddies. Oh, sure. Where did the song Jessica come from? Who's that named after? What are you doing? Is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eddie, You're uh, kissing ass. Me, Dickie's yeah. uh, daughter. Um, oh, is it? Okay. No. Fascinating. Uh, it's great. So. Dickie's Speaking daughter. of music, yeah. Chechnya has banned music that is either too fast or too slow. Chechnya. Chechnya. Oh, I thought you said Oh, is it Chechnya? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's okay. According to the Moscow Times, the country's culture ministry announced that all musical, vocal, and choreographic works should correspond to a tempo of 80 to 116 beats per minute. <laughs> what? The statement said Chechen leader Ramzan Kadrov had instructed culture minister Musa Dadyaeva Hello. to make Chechen music conform to the Chechen mentality. I am Kadrov. I don't like problems. <laughs> <laughs> Local artists have been ordered to rewrite their music by June 1st to accommodate the changes. If local artists do not rework their music, they will not be allowed to perform in public. Mr. Danyana Dadanyov added that <laughs> borrowing musical culture from other peoples is inadmissible. Yes. So slow. you can't have anything too up tempo. Slow it no. down. Slow it down. It, it also sounds tempo. like you can't or, sample and, other people's music. And too slow. Yes. 
Just yeah. right. <laughs> oh, so it's like Goldilocks. Mid tempo. Mm-hmm. It's got to be just right. And I will slow dance with. What were the parameters again of the? Eighty uh, to one hundred and sixteen <laughs> beats per minute. Because we had this story, um, I want to say a couple months ago, that the ideal tempo for sex was one hundred and nineteen. Oh for really? Sex? Oh really? I don't, I don't remember, remember that. that. You're not the beat higher. Yeah. <laughs> Are you mumbling? Yes, yes I am. He's- <laughs> People with hearing, they the join the club. Yeah, get out. People, people love it when Pat mumbles. Okay, uh, that's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, I if I were king, I wouldn't listen to Abba, but I would allow everyone else to listen. I don't know that you would. <laughs> <laughs> I would really. If you were king, you would ban most things. There could be a fee, sure. What <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it about me that when Abba. you say stuff like if I were king, it really <laughs> sends a chill down my spine? I don't know what... Well, what I prefer... At least this time he didn't say when. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but this is like... Uh, what is it? What's the, uh, footloose. This is like footloose yeah. except the death penalty. That would be like your music. Too many beats. Kill him. <laughs> okay, thank you. Know, you know, if you were king, you know who your queen would be. <laughs> <laughs> the dancing queen, Tom. I was mad at you. Okay. Uh, Can you dig that scene? <laughs> there should be a test. <laughs> Digging the dancing queen? When I used to paint houses, I've told you, I used to, there, was, there was certain songs would come out that I hated so much I would climb down the ladder. Yeah. Yeah, that would be one of them. I don't know. That song is just like has everything wonderful in it. I don't know why yeah, you you dislike song. it so much. It's overproduced. Cool. It's stupid. It's fine. Perfectly produced. It's too. a yes. good roller rink song. Yeah, yes. exactly. it's good. And I haven't ever been to a roller rink on purpose in my life. <laughs> so. You've never gone roller skating on for fun. I uh, no. <laughs> If I, I'm going to make a wish right now, and you all are my witnesses, I oh. hope that Finn becomes a world-class roller skater. <laughs> I've had plenty of fun in sensible shoes. <laughs> I did it. I went roller through. A, who puts fun. wheels I, on I, their feet? I, I did go through a period of inline skating. Yeah. Okay. What? Yeah, that's fun. Where you were doing that? Yeah, but at the time I had little kids that were in the strollers. Oh. Oh, I thought so, maybe your boyfriend talked you into it. <laughs> <laughs> this is your Miami phase? Starlight yes. Express. Of course, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Next stop, me. Yeah. Why do they call it to land? Because he puts it into butt. <laughs> of oh, course, we haven't, yeah. that's exactly we haven't explored what that avenue, have we? <laughs> well, we all suspected it. Well, then line skates, see, when you got a stroller. Yeah, you have something to hold you, on to. Yeah, you, you can stay up. So. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that was fun. I used to do it on the park right here all the time. So uh, let me get this straight. Oh, yeah, that park. That, that park. park. Yeah, everybody, <laughs> pickle, pickle, pickle. everybody knows it. Yeah. So is roller skating looked down upon like it's a white trash thing? No, I just never, I didn't, I, no, I grew up on ice skates. So. Okay, well. Yeah. yeah. yeah He's see? looking down on us. Yeah, he is. <laughs> no, I'm, I, oh, yeah, way down. Oh, to the yeah. ice, to he the can ice barely feet. see you from where he is. I'm sure. Did, did you go to the roller rink on a regular basis? Yes, that All was a time. big deal. We had skating not parties just, at my school. Not just a roller rink, but the roller cave. Oh, yeah. Oh. Cave. Wow. Went to, the roller cave. We yeah. went to Melody Skateland. Yep, and roller there cave too. is still there. Roller cave is yes. still there. You want to yeah. go over to roller cave one morning and, and skate around? <laughs> we can around? take adult skating lessons. Do you guys oh. want to do that? Oh, I'm a great skater. There's a place near my house called the Skating Queens. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> Me and you, Tom, out there skating. Uh, 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 we could explore our uh, feelings for each other. <laughs> No, I, I'm not sure. You skate, I, chick. If were you're you a skater, I, I can't. If you are no. a good ice skater, I'm too middle heavy. <laughs> I was okay. I was decent on. I I don't. Is the do they translate? It's easier to skate on four wheels than on one. Slim I, I thought it was. Easy. I thought ice skates were easier when I was a yeah, kid. I'm did you used, really? I'd, I'd have to try it. I don't know. Because huh. it kind of digs into the. I felt like I had more. I was huh. better. I was better. I at had, ice maybe it's because I started on roller skates. Yeah. I, I had an easier. appearance at a roller derby, and I didn't know, but they wanted me to go and. Put me on skates. I didn't know I was going to get put on skates. Oh, that's a horrible idea. But I was, and oh. I fell about 19 times yeah, man. on the skates. It was... Now, I did go to a roller derby. That awful. was super cool. Roller derby is fun, if you've never... Great, yeah. a great... Uh, uh, how do I word this? Look, a um, uh, really unusual, a cool crowd. <laughs> okay. That is the nicest way you could yeah, have said you that. Good job. Our roller rink, when I was growing up, had concerts in it too, and I mean some that's pretty fun. big bands sure, came through cool. there. Yeah, it was really, that's it was cool. really a cool thing. 
Really? About all we had. Have you, you been know? to a you went to the roller derby? Would you agree <laughs> with my assessment? I, I I would not. Was yours flat track or was it banked? Uh, the one I went to was flat track. Yeah. yeah. You, wasn't was, there a good crowd there? It was a yes. It was a good crowd. Yes. Diverse. We know where you're going. <laughs> I'd rather not comment. <laughs> Mm. Lucky you didn't go in Sam Subaru. I never would have found it when oh. I got out of there. Oh, here we go. There, there we go. There, 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 there. See? We're there. talking about lesbians, people. In case yeah. you know, a lot yeah. of huskies. Uh, That's right. Great. You know what their number one song is. <laughs> That's right. How oh, they hate this. They hate it. Plus, Tegan and Sarah did a cover. Yeah. <laughs> well, the Indigo Girls do Plus Dancing right. Queen. Fine, yeah, baby. Okay. All right. You happy now? Yeah. That was a great crowd. It was super fun. I loved it. And what did you say at first? Trying to be hip. A very hip. Cool crowd. Diverse. Cool crowd. Diverse. Diverse. Cool crowd. Unusual. It wasn't like going, Unusual. It wasn't like you were at an NFL game. It was a different, <laughs> no. had a different feel. A WNBA game, maybe? Sure, sure. It was fun. It's a good crowd. <laughs> the higher the voice gets, it was so fun. I was so nervous. The more you're lying, the higher your voice gets. I really enjoyed all the hairstyles. I never accused them of being contagious. No, of course not. For some reason, that reminds me. Happy birthday, Cynthia Nixon. Okay. What? Oh. Why? Uh, no, I'm kind of with you on that. Uh, that does, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, she announced she was gay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but yeah, I'm that makes sense. No, no, that wasn't How did what you I was know thinking. it was her birthday today? Because today I have the um, birthdays oh, in history. Is she the one that got? Uh, is impressed. she the one that got married in the White House? Right? Uh, maybe she. She got political there for a while. She's the one. No, no, no. She's the one who. No matter. She's the one who every season of that show had a less appealing haircut. <laughs> yeah, she's not your style. You're not wrong. Well, no, they, they, she's always I mean, She must have walked scene. in for this like season four. They go, she probably said, hey, could you possibly cut it out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this girl who has the short haircut, or as I like to call that cut, never going to have sex again. <laughs> With a man again. I'm sure you With saw a man yeah. again. You saw some of those haircuts at the roller derby, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Shaved on the sides, real tight. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aim for the flat top, as Bill Murray said. But see, they were good skaters. It was fun. Uh, uh, coming up, we have a guy faking his death. Wait till you hear why. Oh, and by the way, he got caught. And uh, Barbie dolls are actually coming in handy in the world of uh, of healthcare. Believe it or not. Interesting. Yeah, it is kind of a cool story. I think you'll like it. And we have uh, my favorite. We have a hundred dogs loose in a mall. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> They're having fun. They're shopping. Right now, I want you to uh, think about your food life. Maybe it's getting a little boring. How about spicing it up? And uh, how about having a lot less uh, work to do? That's what HelloFresh is all about. They do the grocery shopping. They do the measuring. And uh, they deliver the box to your house. You've got fresh ingredients. And uh, now they've uh, stepped up a little bit with some new stuff. This is really interesting. More than 45 recipes per week. And it's not just the recipe. They've got the food there for you. But also the new Ready in 20 recipes. Pick from a rotating menu of uh, 20 satisfying options every week. So uh, you can get in and out of the kitchen quickly and have a great restaurant-quality food. Christy, what are you working on over there? How about lobster-filled ravioli and shrimp with zucchini ribbons? Oh, this looks so amazing. Uh, HelloFresh will send you the fresh lobster ravioli. You add the ricotta and the shrimp and make this wonderful creamy sauce. And then throw in some zucchini ribbons and what a meal. 30 minutes. And you'll have a great meal on the table with HelloFresh. They also have, uh, I remember one of my favorites, the meatloaf, of course. Oh, yeah. They have, uh, uh, and the meatballs, those were, what are they, fire Firecracker balls? meatballs. Those were fantastic. Yeah. Uh, HelloFresh, they've got classic comfort food and everything in between. So uh, check it out. Even Patty G over there. Our vegetarian slash vegan friend can enjoy HelloFresh. Also, dessert, you like it? Well, how about a free dessert in every box? HelloFresh.com slash BTS. How sweet. That's the new code, BTS. How sweet. Uh, one free dessert item in every HelloFresh box with an active subscription, as long as you keep that subscription up and running. HelloFresh.com slash BTS. How sweet. Coming up, uh, speaking of kitchens, there's an alligator in this lady's kitchen, and it's an eight-footer. Whoops. Uh, and things that go crawling in the night in your kitchen. It was in Florida. We'll find out more. This is the Bob and Tom Show. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, it's Josh Arnold from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcasts. The Bob and Tom Show. On air, on app, and on demand. 
Okay. <laughs> well, we were talking about that. That's wonderful. Yeah. You, you fly all over the place. You're, you're, you, you work a lot with uh, the yeah. comedian uh, Jeff Dunham. Yeah. So you, and you guys are always flying, but uh, oh. you're famous on this show for your discussion of, of, of flying. Wow. I, well, I, it was... Uh, it, it, I, you know, I, I know a lot of comedians do the stuff about, you know, airline, uh, you know, uh, jokes about, mm -hmm. uh, you know, everything from flying. And uh, so this was just my experience was that I started to notice uh, some of the pilots. Uh, there were those who didn't say anything to you, really. They would just say, hey, how you doing? You know, and, uh, and but then I always I had uh, noticed the ones who love to talk and yeah. point out things and give you a little sure. tour in the sky. <laughs> and, <laughs> sure. Uh -huh. And uh, I always thought those were guys who were frustrated uh, radio guys. They wanted to be on radio, you know. <laughs> There's your captain here in the cockpit. Uh, and, and they always sound so cool, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> You know, and uh, so he always, first of all, he has to tell you he's in the cockpit. Oh, yeah. uh, like, where else is he going to be? Right? <laughs> yeah, we know. Yeah. We know. No. Uh -huh. I'm in the can right now. I uh, <laughs> just wanted to say hi. Uh -huh. so if you guys uh, don't form a line while I'm in here, please. Uh -huh. So he's in the cockpit. Okay. And then they always tell you how many feet were going up. I never understood why they had to share that with uh, all of us. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's great. We're going up to 36,000 feet. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm just a passenger. I'm not writing this stuff down. Uh -huh. You know, uh, what did he say, 36,000 or 33,000? Because I need to know. Uh, do you? Do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I want to know what the gauge says because mm -hmm. this is, uh, I can't see it. I mean, I need to know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he's given us all this information. We really don't need, uh, as passengers, you know, uh, all I know is, uh, you know, 36,000, 40,000, just go high. That's all I really. <laughs> go, go above the trees and the mountains and clear that stuff. And yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm good. happy. Yeah. Have a couple of drinks and. Uh, but then uh, the, some of these guys, I've noticed, also will keep going. They're the ones who like to point out everything. You know, uh, for those of you sitting on the left side of the plane, if you look out your window, there's a clown shaped like a duck. <laughs> wow. What? Uh, oh, good. I, I'm glad he woke me up for that because, you know, I mean, I... And, of course, those people on the right side of the plane, uh, they never get to see anything sometimes, right? They'll, they'll point yeah. out stuff. You know, if, if you're on the left side, you can see the Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. If you're on the right side, you can look at the people looking at the Grand Canyon on the left side of the plane. Fascinating. Yeah. So, oh. so I, I just noticed those guys. Uh, so I started taking notes about what they would say, and it was just unbelievable. And then uh, uh, and the, the funniest, or, or, or it's, I guess it's not funny, is when a plane goes down, of course, they would look for the flight recorder. And oh, I was sure. always like, and they always thought, I, I always wondered, like, what do they expect to hear on this thing? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, I mean, the pilot's not cool enough to just explain what's happening, is he? Is he just going <laughs> to, oh, just hit a mountain? Uh, my fault, my fault. I, <laughs> I was pointing out something to the people and uh, yeah, uh -huh. I clipped the wing and uh, uh, yeah. there you go. Anyway, I, I, I know I sound cool right now, but I've just evacuated uh, like you wouldn't believe. Mm -hmm. So I just want to apologize to everybody. Uh, we're uh, spinning out of control. I just want to thank all our passengers for flying with us. Uh, we realized you had a choice in airlines and uh, well, you picked the wrong one because we're, well, we're going right down. We're going down. We're going down. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. You know, you're not going to get that. No. You know, you're just free drinks. Be, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Free drink. But, uh, yeah. Just uh, hurry. Oh, hurry. Uh, free drink. Uh, the cart should be uh, flying around. Any, just reach up and grab something. Oh, uh, man. I don't know. The, mm -hmm. I, I figure that it, I, mean, I guess when they find a thing, all they really hear is, you know, one big, uh, well, you know, yeah, screaming. Yeah, screaming. Yeah. Curse. Yeah. Screaming. Oh, yeah. Curse. One big curse word all the way down. Absolutely. Yeah. My, my, I'm sure. You know, if I, and if I was on the plane going down, I'd, my last word would be, you know, my, my wife would be going, I'd, you know, she'd be saying, I love you. And I'd be going, sorry, honey, I'm going to have to curse with the pilot right now. I <laughs> won't be saying I love you right now. But. <laughs> Jeff Roth Band. <laughs>
Ink Clay. Oh, yay, idiot, yay. Oh, yay, Ice Ray. Enerald J. Orkalter Bay. <laughs> and of course, <laughs> the classics of Shakespeare. Ute eBay. Or ye, at ne, ute eBay. At they, is ye, a ye, eschen quay. At the way, a ye, is some financial over scholarships ute available for women aged 18 to 25. Let me teach you to act in big Latin. For more information, write to Haji or phone 1 800 Akshme. <laughs> Do it now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Larry the Cable Guy, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. If you're not, you're a communist. Joining us in the studio, comedian Mark Eubanks. Did you go to college down in... Uh... I went to college in uh, University of West Virginia, Morgantown, West Virginia. Oh, really? I was a mountaineer. Hmm. Well, why would someone from Florida go to college in West Virginia? Uh, because you didn't have to be real smart to get into school there. <laughs> 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 Basically, showing up got you that piece of paper. Yeah. Oh. Valedictorian was a 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> On the breathalyzer. <laughs> <laughs> Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> You're so weird. You have no idea. Essential Morning Radio. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom Radio. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Hello, hello, hello. Here's Tom Griswold. Well, thank you very much, Chick McGee. You're welcome. I look around the room and I see uh, there's Christy yep. o- over her shoulder. I see Pat Galvin in his little music studio there. Hello. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, we've got uh, Joshy over there. Hi. Uh, and uh, Ace Cosby's uh, <laughs> manning the controls. He is our engineer. Chick McGee is uh, over there <laughs> suffering, anticipating the fact that I might call for yet another Ace Cosby joke of the day. Why, oh. though? Isn't the purpose of our show to have people listen to us? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently I was wrong. <laughs> Ace Cosby, here he is with his joke of the day. Chick. Yes, Ace. Did you know they're doing a remake of The Wizard of Oz? But, but they're doing it from the dog's perspective. Oh, from Toto's perspective. Yeah, it's oh, Toto wow. Recall. <laughs> Toto Recall. That was a joke of the day. <laughs> timing, <laughs> timing is the key. Uh, well, you stepped on me. I think you, yeah, I think yeah, you, I think you, right, you, I think you ruined it. Yeah, uh, okay, I ruined it. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> back Good to the, uh, back to the news desk with Christy Lee. What have we missed? Country singer Morgan Wallen has been arrested after police say he threw a chair off the rooftop of a six-story bar in Nashville. An a-hole. Metro Nashville police okay. said the chair, which was tossed off Lord. the roof of the newly opened Chief's Bar, landed on Broadway just three feet from two police officers. Ooh. Eric Church's bar. And yeah. It is Eric Church's At one bar. point, you have to sign a contract with somebody and say, you know what, I'm going to entertain, but I'm going to behave myself, okay? This is like the 19th time this guy's yeah. been in He's trouble. A, yeah, witnesses say they watched Wallen pick up the chair, throw it over the roof, and laugh about it. The incident apparently may have been caused because Wallen was distraught after learning that his former fiance, Katie Smith, had secretly eloped. The 30-year-old was booked into jail on three felony counts of reckless endangerment and one misdemeanor count of disorderly conduct. I heard conduct. she eloped because she didn't want to be married to a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. I mean, the guy can sing, but who cares? A sure. lot of people can sing. Apparently a yeah. lot of people. He it's just sold out uh, uh, stadiums. It doesn't mean he's good, man, and you yeah. of all people know that. I'm just saying. He's terrible. Popular. If you want to listen to country music, it's not Mar- Morgan Wallen. No. I wouldn't know a Morgan Wallen song if it sure smacked you would. me in the face. Nope, I wouldn't and either. he's not too different from Eric Church, so oh. tell, he your, had, uh, tell your husband to listen to real huge. country. Huge. I don't, I don't know that he <laughs> listens to Morgan Wallen, but... Are you going to defend this guy? No, I'm just saying. He's a, obviously, he's a Bob Knight fan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I mean, can you imagine if Bobby Knight had been able to throw it off of a building? That would have been really cool. Yeah. Throwing chairs, I mean. Maybe oh. you shouldn't maybe she needs to watch less WrestleMania. Yeah. Now if it had hit the cops, it would have been he'd, oh, he'd he, still be in jail. Hell, he could have killed somebody. A well, chair like, falling from six stories? Maybe attempted murder? Maybe. Maybe. No. <laughs> Bodily harm? Yes. I mean, yeah. I mean, my gosh. Right? No? Well, we'll see. All right. Isn't and isn't it? 
tradition to throw a TV out of a building? If yeah. That's what you throw. Rock and roll. Something that's going to have yeah. a nice pop when it hits. Yeah. Right. And, and if you're, your toilets, your I, TVs, I have read the pools. Yes. Back in the day when that was a thing, the trick was, first of all, televisions were the big VTR, big fat square things. You had to go to the roadies and borrow one of the really long extension cords. So the, the t- so the TV would stay on until it hit. Right. Over by the pool. Oh, yeah, that's, that'll be okay. Yeah, and electrocute everyone in the pool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Christy, what else is happening? A Kentucky man has admitted to faking his own death to avoid paying over $100,000 in child support. Uh, another dirt bag. Yep. According to a plea agreement, Jesse E. Kipf <laughs> <laughs> accessed the Hawaii death registry system using details of a doctor in another state oh. and created a case of his own death. He also infiltrated other states' death registry systems using credentials he stole from other real people, resulting in him being listed as deceased in many government databases. The agreement states that the 39-year-old, quote, faked his own death in part to avoid paying outstanding child support obligations to his ex-wife. Mr. Kipf pleaded guilty to one count of aggravated identity theft and one count of computer fraud. After taking a plea deal, he faces a maximum of seven years in prison and up to five hundred thousand dollars in fines. Well, but if he's not going to pay child support, what makes him think they can squeeze five hundred grand out of him? Right. I just wonder how's he polling in his run for president. <laughs> I don't. Uh... <laughs> Sounds like he's got just what we need for a third party candidate. Uh, what I, uh, but he didn't. It's, didn't he do some kind of elaborate accident to make it appear that he could have? died that's what it doesn't i don't know it doesn't say, say how he died it just isn't that part of the thing of faking your death you have to be i thought so you have to disappear and you have to have yeah some... they managed to find the guy yeah i hey yeah, you get a corpse switch your teeth no, i don't think he went <laughs> oh, yeah. to all that trouble he just did well that's the problem he yeah got caught, in a computer he? system yeah. had he gone yeah. through all that trouble talk about a deadbeat dad <laughs> yeah. yeah by definition yeah. Mm-hmm. okay sorry let's move on uh, Barbie in the news today. Health experts say Barbie dolls may help physicians and patients have more productive telehealth sessions. What a movie, huh? Alicia ugh. Alicia Daunter, MD at Mott Children's Hospital, discovered that when a Barbie doll was used, participants had a better understanding of what movements they needed to demonstrate. Oh, okay. <laughs> they also found it easier to explain what they were looking for unless it was their genitals. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, how come? Yeah. yeah. I have no nipples. <laughs> Does Barbie have nipples? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No? Okay. No. She also doesn't have a... Bush. Yeah. Yeah, those Ken dolls. Camel toe. Not going to be real useful. <laughs> no. Mm. Doctor, it hurts down there. Oh, my God, that guy doesn't have one. Yeah, I mean, that's... I mean, these you're doing t- telehealth, so you're... You could be, they could be a continent away, and you're trying to explain to them, well, yeah, li- lift your leg like this. Right, oh, right. Okay, it all I makes see. sense. Yeah. I think they probably should get maybe what might be considered slightly creepy ventriloquist puppets <laughs> that had the appropriate accoutrement in the, you know what I'm saying, Christy? <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying, but do they have ventriloquist puppets that have. They'd have to make them. They oh. have to make. I see. In other words, I'm, some company will probably come up with a tele. Oh, a tele uh, Yeah, a so that if, if you're doing trying to help someone in some far sure. off land, you can go. You can pick up the doll and go like this. But if they're ventriloquist puppets, then you could have the doll go. Oh, it hurts there, doctor. <laughs> okay, then you. Uh, uh, don't touch me there, you perv. <laughs> don't touch Stuff me like there, that. you perv. <laughs> 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 what good are you doing right now? You know, actually, helping. I think you do bring up a good I mean, point. That's what they're no, doing. Tele- doesn't. Telehealth dolls would be very helpful, I think. Anatomically well, correct. Would you rather have an Oppenheimer doll? <laughs> yeah, Bar- Barbenheimer, yeah. That's, right. that's, right. that's what I was sitting over here thinking. Yeah. Not how insane you are. <laughs> we're not <laughs> ventriloquist we're radiate Hiroshima. <laughs> Whoa! No, thank you. Uh <clears throat> I'm Skipper. I did. Uh, no. Never happened to Skipper. I don't think she's yeah, in the movie, she, is she? Yeah, Skipper kind of skipped um, away. Really? No. Mm-mm. Midge is in the movie, right? I don't know. Yeah. I, turned, I turned it off after. Three. Midge is from Archie. Right? There are many Midges. I think there was a Midge in Barbie, too. <laughs> wasn't wasn't yes, Midge the may- girlfriend of the football guy Midge in Archie? Moose. Midge and Moose, yeah. I think. There's a Midge in Barbie, yeah. There is? Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, but now, uh, we're going to get back to the action here coming up in just a couple minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have um, 
um, among other things, an, an octopus is a pet. Oh. Uh, something might go wrong. Well, I'll tell you what that is in a minute. This is the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete cup. See, that's Bob. I'm Tom. Uh, Chick McGee's over there at the uh, Harumph. Quality Drivers Sports Desk. <laughs> Christy Lee, Harumph. future truck Harumph driver. You. That's uh, me, baby. I'm going to uh, be driving the big rigs. We're going to get uh, Christy over to Quality Drivers and learn how to uh, drive the big rigs. Mm -hmm. uh, comedian Justin Willman has joined us in the studio. Hello. You may have seen him uh, on Ellen. You may have been at the White House when he was there. It's amazing. <laughs> he's, he's here in the studio. I was being dragged out of the White House when he was there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> were you wearing a I cape? I wasn't supposed to be there. It was, it, I was it not. Was, Did you ever buy a cape? Halloween. You ever had? I got to have a cape. Oh man, you know Come I on. No, no cape. How it's about a little a on the nose for me. Like top hat? A top hat. I do own some top hats, okay. but I yeah, I'm trying, you know, trying to help shed magic that, wand? Do you have a magic shed wand? that image. Magic I, wand? I don't have a magic wand. The tuxedo and the cape is traditional. Those are uh, those are the classic. I thought they required a yeah. uh, magician for a musician. Magician. I, I and, uh, that's and, <laughs> and a musician as well. But I did I had that face. We were talking about Lance Burton off the air. I had that Lance Burton face where mm -hmm. I would put that tuxedo on and Ah. Make doves appear, but there's something about like when you're 14 and owning a tuxedo that is that just doesn't and seem you, right. You have to take care of the doves too. And the doves, yeah. 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 A lot of work when they you're 14. You know what doves eat? Uh, dove chow. Dove chow. Dove chow. Purina dove chow. Purina dove chow. <laughs> I'm sure they do. I'm sure they make it. Uh, now you um, were a longtime host on television of uh, Cupcake Wars, Cupcake which Wars. is now on Netflix. It is. Uh, is it, it is. The war rages on now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nine right. years of production on the Food Network. Nine Jeez. years. Wow, that might be America's longest war. But you're a very slender man, so you, you, you never you never ate a cupcake. Diabetes apparently. won the war, sadly, in the end. Now oh, uh, it's my understanding we're going to try to do another magic trick on the radio. That is, your understanding right. is correct. Since we don't know what you're going to do. Is this the, the kind we can what do? We play by, this is. I play, thought this would be by interesting by for the listeners i have this is a, a a lucky die i have i'll show and we're filming this so if they yeah. wanted to watch okay. it later on this is a pretty big die could, yeah. one paradise. through six do you want to hand that to, to uh, bob down there to me oh all right let uh, me take Hmm, there's know, some, something strange shit. about this Does die. Does that feel weird, Jake? <laughs> no, no, not at all, actually. Uh, no. This feels like a regular uh, die. Yeah. So, Bob, think of a number from one to six. Don't say it, but turn it so that number's up, and then put your hand on the die. Okay. And tell me when you got a, a number that you like my hand, locked in there. My hand is on the die. Hands on the die, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's, it's, it's a number from one to six. I want you just to say one, two, three, four, five, six, monotone. And then we'll see if I can pick it up in your voice. Maybe the listeners will hear it as well. Just a little a tell, if you will. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it was subtle. <laughs> it was subtle. You know, I'm going to say, because, I mean, that was funny, but I think the number you sped through was two. I think it was two. Is it two? It's two. It is two. Okay. Because <laughs> he went one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. which All is right. kind of a misdirect. Now, maybe that was. He's a warlock. Warlock! <laughs> okay, how the hell did that burn him? How did he do I'll that? Do, you can try it again, but it gets hard every time because you get very self aware of your voice. That's a good trick. That's a nice it's trick. A, you know, it's a little psychological. Here, you do a chick? That's a gorgeous piece. Of, that's a gorgeous piece of business. Wow, <laughs> gorgeous. Now what do I do? Just, just what do I do? I'm going to look away. Turn, think of a number from one to six. Turn it so that number's up. Put your hand on it. Okay. Christy's watching me. Put my hand. Right yeah, now. she's yes. on to me. She's looking. like, where? Okay, no got cheating. My is got my hand in a okay. mirror. I'm not cheating. Your hands on it. I'm, my right. hands on it, baby. Okay, I'm going to turn your way now. Is that all right? Okay. Go now you have to say I say one through six. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, gosh. Okay. See, that was uh, your uh, radio voice was very good. Go yes, backwards. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Five. Is it five? I felt something with five. Please tell me Is it's it five. five. It'd be Is embarrassing it five? if it's not. Zoom in. Five. It's, it's five. five. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, that's the greatest trick I've ever seen. We're oh hanging my. out with... He's uh, God. That's who that is. We're hanging He's out God. with Justin You're Milner. God. We're wow, doing... Hi, this is Chick McGee from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcast. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles.
Ten years after that, in 1998, she posed naked in Playboy magazine, mm. a move which critics said severely tarnished her image and marketability. Men throughout the world were outraged. <laughs> if Katerina were going to pose nude, why had she not done it in 1988 when we were all fascinated by what she must look like with her yeah, clothing? Yeah. To wait 10 years after her physical prime, when we had all clearly moved on to Nancy Kerrigan, <laughs> was a slap in the face to male fans everywhere and goes against the very spirit of the Olympic Games. Yes. Hello, Michelle Kwan, are you listening? Uh, <laughs> this is another Bob and Tom Olympic uh, moment uh, in uh, history. Hello. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> the essential Morning radio. This is Bob and Tom Radio. 24 7. 24 7. Nick Griffin's our yeah. guest. I, well, I'm, I'm glad that it. Uh... I'm glad everything's okay yeah. now. Yeah. Now, are you dating at all? Do you see anyone? Are you? No, I don't. I don't. I mean, I, I tried. You know, they're doing that internet dating, which. Uh, have you tried that? I have tried it, yeah. But but it, I just don't. I don't see a future in it because there's no story if you do get married with your kids. You know, I was. Checking the box score, and then I double clicked on your mom's head. <laughs> <laughs> and Jesus said, "Take this bread and eat it. It is my body." And the disciple said, "Jesus, we're all on low carb diet. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down. Like <laughs> we want to look good in the painting." You don't say we didn't warn you. Oh my God! There's laughter ahead. Do I hear cheering? Yay! <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello, chick. There's Josh Arnold. I, I, it can't happen. I, 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 I don't think there's any. You way mean we another can stop joke it. of the day? Yeah. Oh. There's oh, Ace Cosby. Certainly enjoyed <laughs> that. Talk off the air about it. I'm Chick McGee, and here's <laughs> rewarding failure. Total there's recall. Tom. Oh, 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 oh. Total recall. Total <laughs> failure. Uh, total. Uh, uh, we promised an octopus story, and I, I, <laughs> yes, I did learn did. in the process of researching this that um, uh, octopi, octopi, Octo <laughs> octopi, they're all okay. Octopi. They're all all right. Uh, so um, <sighs> tell me the octopus story. An <laughs> okay. An Oklahoma family got quite a shock after their pet octopus gave birth to 50 babies. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 50? Back in March, Cameron Clifford said he surprised his son with an aquarium so that he could fulfill a lifelong dream of owning a pet octopus. Two months after welcoming the octopus named Terrence, Whoops. she laid a clutch of eggs that have since hatched. The average octopus has a natural lifespan of 12 to 18 months. After a female lays her eggs, she stops eating as she watches over her offspring, eventually wastes away and dies. Oh. What a great pet. <laughs> wow. According to Clifford's, they were told to expect her to die within four to eight weeks, but Terrence has continued to thrive, much to everyone's surprise. Well, it's only well time, I mean, I suppose, but uh, yeah. Even in the, under the best of circumstances, they're not going to be around for long. Are they going to keep all 50 of them? Uh, uh, they, they went to a. Uh, Pet store? Yeah, no, to a uh, like shelter. A proper sh a shelter. Yes, <laughs> uh, octopus shelter yeah. thing. So that sure. they could be, you know, yeah. adopted to another family. Yeah, of course. Uh, I think they went to. What did it? Do you remember, Pat? It said they went to a shelter, or was it a sushi place? I forget. <laughs> oh, I forget. Yeah. I forget who an octopus who today? Who? <laughs> uh, this is like 101 Dalmatians, but <laughs> who sucked better? Who? <laughs> um, but yeah, the fun fact I learned: octopi, octopuses, and octopodes are all acceptable plurals of octopodes. Playing fast and loose with the term fun there. <laughs> octopodes. Fun fact I learned. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Here's something. I like. You know. I like. Isn't I, that fun? 
You have something to say about the octopus there? No, I, I enjoyed chicks. Uh, oh, I was talking to Pat. <laughs> yeah, we have a song. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, oct 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 uh, uh, yeah, octopodes? right. <laughs> there Octo you go. Octopodes. Come on in, Tom. Join me. Oh. The water's fine. Oh, oh the water's not fine. <laughs> Octopode, Mr. McGee. Uh, uh, I feel like I'm... Octopodes. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm here's, uh, about this. Now here's, here's Pat, Pat Godwin song. to make his laugh. Pat? <laughs> I, I don't know what song we should go with. Uh, oh. Maybe I do. Yeah. <laughs> Can we discuss um, this octopus that our son wants to keep there by the bed? By the bed. <laughs> should we get Should we get him one? He says it would be fun to get an octopus, not normally a pet. All year long, he pleaded and begged. Now the female squid laid 50 eggs. Should we buy a hose? Octopose in an octopus. <laughs> there you yeah. go. Got it in there. <laughs> Woo! Yes, he, he got it in there as Pat Godwin. Not as whatever the hell you were doing. Uh, we were pretending to be two Englishmen in a Dickens novel. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. yes, uh, yeah. Octopodes. <laughs> well, maybe Hello. maybe that we weren't. more like Twain to me. Uh, <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe Chick was on there the porch. There was a second verse. Oh, sorry. Oh, there was? <laughs> oh, holy hell, really? This is, this is the bridge, Elvis. Okay, back to you. The thing is huge. <laughs> really big. And it smells like a fish fry by a mob dump near the bay. <laughs> the octopod thrives, guarding 50 lives in an octopus's aquarium. Watch a play. Thank God for the second verse. <laughs> People, I'm not done yet. There'll be a laugh at the end, I hope. People come for miles to see, hey, uh, the living version of calamari. Yeah. I'd rather breathe the exhaust from a bus. Smells better than a smelly octopus. <laughs> oh, my, those smelly octopi. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, How did we misread that there wasn't another? That there wasn't more? I was I playing know. like a bastard. Over <laughs> yeah, we are so <laughs> we're just killing it. So right sorry. Just, we're just waiting. <laughs> we thought, well, if this doesn't pay off, we'll go back to uh, octopied. Um, octopode. Uh, octopode. Not to, octopode made a mistake. I'm sorry. Um, Don't you remember when people were so mad that people were having octopuses as pets, and they all marched and. You don't remember Octopied no. on Wall Street? <laughs> <laughs> no, Pat, you got a, Pat, you got a third verse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do not have a third verse. How big are the biggest of the octopuses? Oh, they're, uh, oh. Aren't they the largest being an uh, organism in the sea or something? No. I don't know about no. that. But they, yeah. <laughs> they can be gigantic. bigger than a whale. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get really giant, real they're giant squids. Giant yeah. squids. Why well, do you think they octopus. call them giant squids? You think they're smaller than something? We're, <laughs> talking, <laughs> we're talking about octopuses. They're, they're going to be what? They're different. It's the same thing. Well, no, they're really Octopodes. Maybe, uh... <laughs> Uh, I know because in those horror in those horror movies, the, act, like the, the, octo the octopuses are gigantic. Sure, yeah. yes, yeah. but in real life, aren't they kind of little? This well, one, there this are some one is little. Ones. I'm like looking you at know pictures what real of it. Life yeah. is. Okay, wait a minute. Here we go. I didn't know this. The average size. Wow. <laughs> More fun. According to National Geographic, this is a fun fact. You illiterate moron. <laughs> <laughs> I had no, the average octopus, nine point seven five to sixteen feet. Weighing there up to go. 110 pounds. I thought they were little little guys. Well, that's oh. bigger than a whale. Some are. Some are real big, yeah. That is scary. There's like, here's a guy swimming <laughs> next to one. It looks like the creature from the Black Lagoon. That is scary. <laughs> I wouldn't want to swim next to one of those I'm things. They'll swim wrap their tentacles around you. you and choke you to death. Man, they're wild, aren't they? They can change colors yeah. and all kinds what of What a weird-looking critter. That documentary was great. It was. My octopus teacher. Yep. Right? Oh, wow. Oh, that's got to be oh, so well, boring. It's it was amazing. Oh. Ascension it. And what does he so teach? What does the octopus teach? You're not going to believe it. So believe it. There's a he twist. And this Science. Guy. There's a twist. There's a twist. Uh, Teaches okay. shop class. No. He doesn't teach. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> he, he, really, uh, really stupid. Ju just like the shop teacher, he's also the driver's ed teacher. Yes. No, okay. No, I know no I'd no love spoilers. it. I've got to watch. Never, never, it. Never, yeah. never takes one of his arms off the wheel, no matter what he's doing. <laughs> yes, yes. Is there a murder? The octopus is dead. Is there a murder in my octopus There's teacher? There's not a murder. Well, then I'm out. <laughs>
you have to watch movies with murders in them? I, I learned so much from this octopus. <laughs> it taught me. It taught me to live, and yes. I wasn't before. What was that? Shot yeah. it off. Who rescued? What, what I you? almost lost sight of <laughs> what's right. important to me. <laughs> who rescues who? And the octopus made what, what, me I realize. Forget, what was this again? This is a couple. The years. octopus teacher. Thank you, octopus. <laughs> that it's dried fish flakes <laughs> that are the secret to happiness. This is a full-length movie. Yes. yes. Great. It won was, all kinds of awards. I think it was up for an Oscar. <laughs> Tearing apart a crab. This is a full length. <laughs> yes. It is. I remember. Honestly, it's brilliant. It is beautiful. So this guy yeah. goes to the classroom and there's... Yes, and it's shot so well. Yes, there's an I octopus know. standing there with, a, with, a, a, <laughs> with a pull down. He's <laughs> having a crisis. Pay attention to me. Yes. Crisis of faith, and he decides the only thing that will help is some sushi, possibly. <laughs> and he goes, and there's an octopus in a tank, and he realizes, oh. My God, no. what have I been doing? <laughs> so is the, that is the answer is, to is life. Is the octopus in a tank? Or no, is it's, it? in no it's out in the sea. Yes. It's out in the wild. Is it the same octopus every yes. time? Yes. Oh, I act like it is. Who's to say? Yes. Oh, I had to stand in one morning. He and this guy <laughs> for they become, bond, they become unlike buddies. Another, yeah. yeah, they bond. It's yeah. really it's incredible. I tried to make love to it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find the orifice. Come on, pervs. It That's not what me. he does. A great handy, though. You can choose from eight different yes, handies. Yes, One more, of, more of an army, long. really. I got to reach around, round, 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 round. round. Yeah. Yeah. Bravo. Yeah. Bravo. More of an arm, not a hand, really. Yes. Not kind of an arm job. Tentacle to testicle. Uh, well, yeah. I think we've... Uh, we've <laughs> tentacle to testicle. <laughs> it taught me. Uh, My teacher. Uh, what is that joke? Uh, spectacles, testicles, balls, or something? What, what? is that? What? <laughs> Coming soon, crawdad professor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, followed by uh, plankton uh, pussy cat. <laughs> very special Grey's Anatomy tonight. Uh, okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> now, if you'd been enjoying that uh, it was an amazing series movie. of, quote, riffs, um, <laughs> you would have been enjoying them even more with those delightful Raycon earbuds, ladies and gentlemen. Raycon earbuds, uh, the ones you use for every day, are perfect. Perfect way to tune out noise and uh, tune in something great like the Bob and Tom Show. Raycon's audio quality rivals the big audio brands you know and love at a price you'll love even more. And Raycon's have eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life, seamless Bluetooth syncing. Raycon's optimized gel tips are designed to fit every ear ever made oh so comfortably. And they will stay in place with additional features like earbud tap functions, noise isolation, and they make a great Mother's Day gift. Raycon offers easy 30-day returns just in case. So go to buyraycon.com slash Tom today and get 20% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. That's 20% off and free shipping at buyraycon.com slash Tom by Raycon.com slash Tom. I love the Raycon earbuds and the Raycon sealed headphones are great. If you're going on a trip, like I said, put them on the kids, put them in the back seat, and voila, they can watch their stuff in, in peace and quiet, and you can do whatever you want up front. Father, right. can we watch the octopus teacher? <laughs> I must learn from it. <laughs> Not going to give it up. Father, I've it? noticed a difference in you. What, what forever could it be? <laughs> Well, it's the octopus, my son. <laughs> Look to the octopus. So you're, more, you're more comfortable with this guy you. than the, than the guy in the porch? Okay. I am, yeah. uh, that, makes, that makes sense, really. Octopodes. Uh, coming up, we got 100 dogs <laughs> loose in a mall. We'll yeah, find we out do. what that's all about. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. Here in the Bob and Tom program, we have been asking you for uh, questions you get all the time. If about you your job? Yeah. Dear Bob and Tom, I work at the service desk of Automotive. Uh -huh. Customers call in and say, hey, the check engine light came on. What's wrong with my car? Ah, well, there you go. I want to always say, I don't know, put your car on the phone. Let me talk to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How you feeling? Mm -hmm. Dear Bob and Tom, my name is James Brown. I'm <laughs> really getting tired of people saying, so, do you feel good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll dear pass. Bob and Tom. Uh huh. My name is Brandy. Yes, I am I like sick of people bit. asking me if <laughs> I am a, a fine, fine girl. girl. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. If you've got questions you're tired of, we'd like to hear from you. Uh, yep. Okay, that's one of my favorite songs. I love that song. Brandy. Yes. Brandy, you're a fine girl. Yes. What a I'll good wife it. you would, would be. be. Yes. 
but my love, my uh, life, but, is, and my love, and my lady, is, is the, the city. Now, why do you like that song? Because I don't know. is that the kind of relationship you want, where that's some or the <laughs> man who loves you but he has to leave for long? Right, he comes in, gets, gets the good loving, and then he leaves. All right. How do you think Brandy? Hey. How do you think Brandy got to own the bar? <laughs> she wears a braided chain made of the finest, finest silver oh, from sorry. the north of Spain. Oh, I got it. Locket that bears yeah. the, the name of uh-huh. the man and that Brandy, Brandy loves. loves. She uh-huh. killed and buried out behind the bar. <laughs> <laughs>Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or anytime excuse me are um are you serious with it i mean why are you doing this me uh, the real me is right here i could easily be doing this we we don't need you man i uh, look there's only room for one of us that's gardener's wisconsin cheese jalapeno flavored oven baked cheese it's now available in gardener's oven baked bundle package so try all the great flavors receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend 59 dollars or more at gardener's wisconsin cheese.com click the link below and tell them your pal josh me, the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show, sent you. Thing you need to watch. You know, you don't, I don't want my rock stars punctual. You know, if you're gonna make a date with Jim Morrison, he'd be late. You know, what is he gonna be in the middle? Is everyone ready to rock and roll? Hold on. Well, we better wrap it up in about an hour and fifteen. <laughs> I've got some stuff to do. The sitter is waiting. Are you ready to rock? I want my rock stars on heroin or dead. Okay, that's a rock star. You're here. Not with a watch. Where are you from, by the way? Patterson. I'm from Patterson, New Jersey. Oh, sure. That's famous. Yeah, word. you know, small. Sure. Thugged out town. You mm-hmm. know, it's tiny. So small, we used to get robbed by people we knew. <laughs> small. People were like, stick them up. I'm like, Andre? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell your mother, man. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, how is Aunt Carol? How is she doing? <laughs> I'm coming over for dinner. <laughs> Bob and Tom. Well, meaning, but... Yeah, they're... they're... Oh. Hi, welcome back to In the Middle of the Woods with Tom Griswold. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> it's the Bob and Tom Show. How you doing, buddy? You all right over there? You look great over here. All right. Coming down from the eclipse. Yeah. Yes, sir. Exciting. A lot going very, on yesterday. Very exciting. It was yeah. cool. Worth all the hoopla. Yes. Yeah. Couldn't believe how beautiful it was. <laughs> I know. Couldn't just, believe it. Uh, Where's this been all my life? Right? Incredible. Well, Fine. Like, and like you said, uh, Josh, I, I understand now why people travel to see it. Yeah. I really do. It's, un, it's unbelievable. And uh, you can pretty much, if you want to see one about, what is it, every year or two. You have to travel for it. Yeah, you it. may, you may mean, have to be in the middle of the Pacific right. Ocean. Right. Mm-hmm. Boy, that'd be something, wouldn't it? Australia, I think, in four years, right? Wow. Yeah, and it's, I don't think the total eclipse is every year, right? It's... Maybe somewhere? I don't know. 
I, That's a good question. I, I'll look that up for When's you. When's the next one? Do we know? Next week. Here? 2145 <laughs> no, no, or something in, crazy. That, that's somewhere in the continental <laughs> United oh. States of America. Yeah, 20 years. Yeah, that, oh. yeah. It's 2045. <clears throat> Hope there's like a, maybe it'd be great if there's one in Hawaii. That'd be a great place. To oh, my to gosh. You should lose your mind. Yeah. They'd, they'd, they'd have to you know, call someone and go, hey, look, we have to do the show from Hawaii. It's the eclipse, you know. Yeah. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. In the meantime, we get back to the uh, Earth, the Earthborn Earthbound. How about that news desk? A Chinese mall descended into chaos after 100 huskies escaped from a dog cafe. Hilarious. According now by dog cafe. <laughs> yeah, that, that's. I think clarity is important here. These are a, a living, breathing, happy huskies that were dining with their. Ah. I would think owner. Yeah, so According they're, they're to not, the, being, not, served not being served. Thank okay. you. <laughs> According to the South China Morning Post, the incident occurred at a shopping mall in Guangdong Province. An employee explained that the cafe's owner had reportedly made a rare visit, causing the dogs to get excited. A customer then arrived and forgot to close the door, allowing the huskies to escape. Staff managed to round them all up, but not before surveillance cameras captured the canine scampering throughout the shopping center. And they've all been put down? Is that what you mean? No, oh, they were oh. all put down. Sorry. No, no, no. So everyone no. there had a husky. Yeah. Wow. Well, at this store I think they, they did. I think they just, the dogs are there, so you go to their visit and have a lunch, and day. there's a bunch of dogs running. It'd be fun. That yeah. does sound cool. They, you hear about the cat cafes all sure. the time. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I hear they make all their money on lint rollers. Mm. They had the, on the way out. <laughs> Is that, is yeah, that they're right? sh they're shedding animal. Well, I had to. Uh, they're they're I, a shedding animal. Yes. What I said, yeah, yeah, shedding. Yeah. You got it. You nailed said. it. Yeah. I had to lint roll Mr. Godwin yesterday. Yeah. I needed to get your girlfriend today. has a. Oh, hunt. how did that go yesterday? Right. You, 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 you go. You're with your lady friend. Uh, yeah, she's got a cat. So it gets meeting a her coworkers. Yeah. yeah, that was fun. Were you made fun of? No, like, no. Uh, the house? Big, big star. They all listened. They just oh, crowded yeah. around me and interviewed me. Is yeah. that Hugged right? me, shook oh, my hand. Nice. You said, hey, look, it's totality of the eclipse. And uh, they said, no, no, just tell us more stories about yes, this. Yes, please. They didn't look up. Yeah, tell they, the one about, they never looked up. Tell the one about Big Red. <laughs> oh, that regales them. <laughs> you ever heard that one? Isn't that the guy who vomits on cue? No. Big he, Red? That's worse. Chat? What mm, was it? On stage in Sumter, South Carolina. Oh, oh yeah. The crowd was chanting, Big Red, Big, big Red, Big Red. red. And then this guy had one in the hopper. Yeah. Oh, come he on, went up, Pat. He oh, went so up on, move it's up. The on the stage. Yeah. Well, it's the truth. like getting upstaged. Uh, hard to, what, is, what do you got? That's <laughs> entertainment. No, that's not. <laughs> I can only do one show. <laughs> A woman in Sarasota, Florida, says she found a large alligator in her house recently. Hmm. Mary Hollenbeck of Venice. So is she a Hollenbeck girl? Uh, well, I knew oh. that was coming. <laughs> Sorry. Why isn't there a Sarasota company? Refreshing Sarasota. Oh. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. hey, um, by the way, if, if you get a chance, when you're, if you have any free time today, Google Huskies Loose and Mall. Um, it's hilarious. There are hundreds of these dogs. They're having the greatest time running in and out of stores. It's, it's what a cool thing! Fun. What a neat place to go. They've they've got a they've got all the dogs posing in one of these pictures. Really looks like it's fun. Okay. I can't tell you what the names of the stores are because they're all in Chinese. Everything under five yen. I don't know. Hmm. Do they have yen in China? They have. Uh, Hot and sour topic. I know that's one of the stories of the mall. Is there a guy? Is there a guy walking around with two toothpicks with samples of hamburgers and hot dogs? <laughs> oh look, yes. American Boy, food. Yeah. Oh, I'm not in the mood for American food. No, no, we could have American. You don't want American? We could have American. I get take out American. Yeah, uh, yeah, but the thing about American is you're uh, you eat American and then ten yeah. minutes later you're hungry. Yeah, you're hungry yeah, for yeah. another year. Yeah. <laughs> I only eat it for the fortunes. Fried bologna. <laughs> A woman in Sarasota, Florida, found a large alligator in her house. Boy, Mary these squatting rules are just getting out of, out of control, aren't they? <laughs> Mary Hollenbach of Venice told WTVT. Oh, is she a Hollenbach girl? WTVT. WTVT, the itty bitty TVT committee. <laughs> Said she heard banging on her screen door and initially thought a neighbor was trying to get into the wrong house. Hey, that screen door ain't the only thing going to get banged. <laughs> she went that. to check on the commotion. She discovered an alligator in her hallway. Hey, how you doing? Ms. Hollenbach called 911. The gator made its way into her kitchen and got stuck. Can I borrow an egg? Took several officers <laughs> to haul the nearly eight-foot gator out hey. of her house. Hey, what's the deal? I just came over. What What the hell's the deal? <laughs> you know, they uh, at first she thought it was um, uh, one of those religious people that bothered you from 
Jehovah Witness? No, no, the uh, Church of Gator Day Saints. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission told the station the reptile was transferred to an alligator. Farm. Hey, Josh, did you hear the reptile was transferred? I heard something about a transfer. Uh, that, uh, <laughs> transfer. transfer. Right. I'm really in the show. You might get kicked in the balls. Be careful. An airboard op- an airboat it, operator tiny. in Florida was arrested after I, his I, vessel. I, how do these? I don't. Just to go back to the story. So, what you leave your screen door just unlatched or whatever, and alligators just poke their way in? Well, there's a reason this is a news story. It doesn't happen all the time. Yeah. But it's a risk in Florida. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. You want Florida. sunshine all the time or not? Don't put in a gator door. It's really scary when they disguise themselves as Girl Scouts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, you want some cookies? Well, I think <laughs> I'll take... Ah! <laughs> An airboat operator in Florida arrested after his vessel overturned while taking a sharp U-turn to get a better look at an alligator. Oh. WTVJ T- reports passage. TVJ causes. <laughs> oh, no, that's TMG. That's TMG. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that TMG? TMG. Uh, okay, <laughs> we're all talking with our lips. Just right lock your jaws. <laughs> yeah. my, uh, oh. Reports passengers had to be rescued after the airboat flipped onto its side in Cooperstown. Well, mm. wouldn't it, it was uh, it flipped onto its side when it dived deeper into I the water? Think. Yeah, somehow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One of the passengers told the station that when the driver had taken a sharp U-turn to go see an alligator, some water went into the boat and it flipped over. The driver, an employee of Cooperstown Airboat Rides, was arrested for not having proof of completing a boating safety course nor a captain's license issued by the U.S. Coast Guard. Oh, okay. And there are gators all over the place in yeah. that Yeah, that is... Not like that you're would gonna, be... You're going to see plenty of them. You don't have yeah. to do the quick Yui. No, you Although don't. I, I heard the guy didn't spill his Mountain Dew, so... All mm, so that's lost. I, I, he's driving a... <laughs> Mountain Dew? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm guaranteed. So you're thinking a guy in an airboat... In the Everglades. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Guaranteed. Okay. Yeah. Guaranteed. I, Guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> I take that bet. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to do one of those. Chrissy, I know you did it. So I it did it. Exhilarating. Yeah, I loved it. I thought it was really cool. So do, I, do I didn't they have, see any pythons, but I saw a lot of alligators. Do they have, um, like, ultra-fine mesh so you don't stick your finger in there? What? You don't sit by that fan? big air fan. You no. Don't? No, it's in behind you. You sit in seats in front of it. Well, yeah, it? you have to want to jam your hand in there, yeah, don't you? Yeah, you'd have to yeah. turn around and so it, reach. Is, is your hair flying back? No. Yeah. No? No, it's blowing out the it's, back. No, so wouldn't it be so sucking the forward. air from the front? Well, a little bit, you but don't, not... You don't sit that close to the fan. fan. Is that what you're worried about? Don't, well, what do you think? There are a couple <laughs> reasons you shouldn't be worried about. You honestly think that's what, that's what that it no looks like. That's what happened. No one's ever thought about a fan boat before until he walks on board. Yeah, and goes, yeah. Oh, this is all set up. <laughs> what the hell are you doing like this? You're gonna scalp these people. You're gonna <laughs> <laughs> haters. You're gonna make no. I, 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 I you just, know, if you put your Mountain yeah. Dew down and pay attention, <laughs> you'd have a lot better. I mean, there have to be some kind of a joke if birds get nearby. Uh-oh, you know, it just hit the fan. <laughs> I remember there was some TV show that had one of these boats in it all the time. Yeah, uh, General Ben. Ben. Is that what it was? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dennis Weaver, and uh, who was a friend of Rance Howard, and uh, we learned that in the, mm-hmm. the biography. That's right. Okay, it was fun. Yeah. Uh, so uh, did the people all drown? No, they're oh. all fine. So this, no one was eating by a gator. And he wasn't arrested for causing it a bad U-turn. It was lack of licensing. Right. Oh, I see. <laughs> so these, these gators don't have, like, little cool human skin boots? No. Okay. Hey, check these out. Nice. <laughs> a lot of the gators I saw when I was on the boat, they were little baby gators. Little babies. Oh. They were cute. They come right up to the boat. I was going to say, don't, didn't you, couldn't you feed them from the boat? We did not feed them. Oh, okay. They but, do come pretty close to the boat. And then there, are, when you get on the boat, there's a big docking area, obviously, and they have huge gators that are kind of like friendly, I guess. Maybe they feed those because they hung around. Yeah, well, they're friendly until you huge. get the one that didn't get the memo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think that looks like a pretty tasty ham. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Arthur, we're supposed to be friendly. You go, ever seen the, uh, the Lost and Found at one of those airboat places? I have not. It's just leashes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you have any that aren't frayed? <laughs> on the end. <laughs> I'll, I'll be afraid. Let these have collars on them. <laughs> 
The picnic area at a tourist attraction in Arizona has been closed to visitors because of the presence of a pungent plant called the stink net. Oh. The, see, the stink net, that's the old service of my old house I used to have. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was oh, my, inter- wi- my Wi-Fi. Yeah, my Wi-Fi. Oh, internet. Stink nets down again. Yeah, stink net. A plant that gives off an extremely foul odor. Officials at Casa Grande Ruins National Monument announced the area will be closed due to the density of the odiferous, invasive, and noxious winter weed. It's that bad. Yeah, they have to they're close closing it. the whole month of April. <laughs> Stink net has pretty yellow blossoms on narrow green stems and can grow up to two feet tall, but has a potent smell similar to nail polish remover or burnt rubber. Huh. Yikes. Hmm. I don't mind the smell of nail polish remover. You don't? No, I don't mind that. Huh. Burnt rubber, though. It gives me a headache after a couple seconds, but I don't <laughs> mind it. Burnt rubber's got to be rough. Noxious weed. Isn't that the, the new cologne from Pete Davidson? <laughs> <laughs> You think he's dirty, don't you? Uh, he no, just I doesn't don't. shower very often. Asking. Uh, here's a story that's old, Tom. We haven't gotten to thinking talking about smells. A new survey, unless you did this while I was gone, of Japanese adults reveals some insights into how bathroom habits are viewed in Japan. Okay. Did we talk about this? No, I don't remember. According to the poll conducted by Taisho Pharmaceutical Company. of people in Japan said they have been bothered by the smell of a toilet they entered after someone else had used it. 30% loved it? (laughs) Of course. (laughs) Hey, I wish I could stay here for longer. How do you you say, do not go in there in (laughs) Japanese? Yeah. With regards to pooping away from home, 60% of those who responded claim they try to hold it as long as possible. Sure, home field advantage. While most people do not do anything to counter the smell of a bowel movement, 30%, 30% said they flush with water at the same time. The courtesy flush is right, what they right. do. It is. It, yeah. it's, it's really effective. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a big courtesy flush. Do you do that at home? It splashes everything up onto your bum. It doesn't, no, though. Yeah. It doesn't? Do you do that when you're home by yourself? I do. I have started to do that. Yeah. Interesting. But I'm an open-door dumper at Ugh. home. So. Even if you're... When yeah, you're you by really, yourself. When you're by really, yourself. Yeah. yeah I don't oh, know yeah, if I have guests. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, uh, it's over there by the potato salad. <laughs> hey, hey, can you throw me the paper towels on a little light over here? <laughs> so a survey also found that men in their 20s were the most likely of any age and gender group to use portable deodorants to cover the smell of defecation. Oh, wow. Okay, so shame They're, they're is... self-conscious and they're... Hmm, I use that stuff, concerned. that spray stuff that you put in before. Oh, oh. Didn't we have a story yeah, years ago? Yeah, poopery or yes. whatever. Yes, yes. Didn't we have a story in, in Japan? They had, um, uh, I'm sure it was, in, they had, uh, uh, like, it would play uh, s- sounds. There was, like, an electronic sound box in some bathrooms because the walls were so thin. So, so people, people would, couldn't hear you? And they didn't want to waste water, so they had a sound box that would play rushing water and all kinds of things. To That's nice. Huh. Yeah. So, I mean, this is the place that created sumo wrestling. One can only imagine the locker room at one of those places. That's got to be a... Uh, wow. <laughs> really, yeah. Big toilets. Don't go in there. Fuji's been in there for 20 minutes. I think he's giving birth to a sandpaper watermelon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Authorities in Florida arrested two men. We never got to this story for having a party on top of a construction site crane in Naples. <laughs> the Naples Police Department responded and heard loud music coming from the top of a 50-foot tall crane and the center of the construction site. Officers jumped a fence, made their way through several obstacles at the site before they were able to get to two 18-year-olds yeah. and forced them to come down. Parting it up. <laughs> The local <laughs> high schoolers were charged with trespassing. Damn kids. Mm-hmm. Well, at least their friends were smart enough not to go to that party. Party of two. <laughs> <laughs> I so, suppose if everybody party. went to a party on top of a crane, you would want to go to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> Mom, come on. They're not monkey bars, kids. Yeah. That'd be horrifying. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'd be so scared. Did you ever see, remember we had a, a listener that would always... Email us from way up high in a crane. He's in the, the glass yeah, box. Yeah, but he worked in a yeah, crane. Yeah, no, I know, he but that would be terrifying. In a crane. Do you think you could get one of those? No, I'm, I don't have, I have a height thing now. I never did before, but I do now. We don't get emails from that guy anymore. You think there was an accident? Mm. <laughs> oh, jeez. Something happened. Uh, I hope not. Uh, you think oh, you might sure. I mean, I'm not, I don't want that to be the case, fall, but fall uh, out of there? I'm just saying. Oh. Have, uh, Maybe. 
Maybe you actually. heard that last song. First time faller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very That's got to be a mess, right? Falling Residents and school children in Mexico City helped police chase down a loose wolf recently. They chased the animal on foot and on motorbikes in a Northside neighborhood before the animal was finally cornered. Local media even interviewed a 15-year-old boy who headed off the wolf with his motorbike. Whoa. Animal control officers were then able to snare the wolf with a rope and force the German shepherd-sized animal into a cage for transport. A lobo, I believe they're called. Yeah, there. I believe you're right. I don't know where they... Was this, was this a... a um, it's still unclear where the wolf came from. Urban wolves are a thing. They're what? here in America. Yes, yes. No, Every now no. and again... In I, saw, I saw just yesterday... Here we go. I saw a coyote. There you did? Is. Yeah. He sees coyotes, eagles, deer, okay, all the time. I, all the time. Mm. There was a bald eagle out here the other day. Sure what? there was. I have video. I'll show it to you. Sure as as you do. Oh. I saw a coyote. I've got a wolf. It's just a in big... A, in an urban area. Just I a, saw a wolf uh, or a, a coyote building... Or a dog. Uh, he was painting a, a tunnel on the side <laughs> of the building here. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Mind your own business. Oh, okay. Sorry. Mind you, I'm Wiley Coyote. Super genius. <laughs> Mind your own business. Ooh, I like how that rolls off, off the, the tongue. tongue. <laughs> Super Wiley genius. Wiley Coyote. <laughs> the talking Wiley Coyote is not bad. No, it's, it's I love it. It's very amusing. I don't know why they did it. Just one so episode. This was in Mexico City, so yes. somewhere there's a cartel boss very upset with one of his employees. <laughs> Where's my wolf? <laughs> no, I didn't think about that. Get me yeah. that wolf. I mean, it would have to be somebody's pet, right? Not no, 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 no. This, this is the thing. What? I yeah. mean, it's, it happens here in L.A. and Chicago. It's uh, that, that all of a sudden wolves are they see him in the city. Yeah, you have a wolf at your house, Tom. A red one. A That's red a fox. One. Oh, a fox. I don't. I know. saw. A fox. I saw a wolf at Trader Vic's drinking a pina colada. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. And it, how was his hair? Perfect. Uh, it's unbelievable. Boy, oh boy, I'd like to meet his tailor. Oh, yeah. that's very nice. Unbelievable. Cool uh, guy, man. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Uh, now, um, well, thank you, Christy. Sure. Now, uh, we have to uh, uh, talk about what's coming up next, Christy. You tell me. Well, coming up next, we have our history lesson, right? And, and things up, we learned. And, and a quick update from our crane operator. He's oh, really? checked in. All, All right. Good. Yeah. I'm glad he's okay. Well, yeah. I didn't say that. And by the way, <laughs> urban wolves are not always a bad thing. They help cut down on homelessness. <laughs> Josh. Yeah, you had to. Yeah, you had to say it, didn't you? Yeah, it's going so well. Yeah, I well, I'm just saying it's a, it, it is a Josh problem. Arnold homelessness, angers America. Homelessness is a problem, I guess. Way to go, Josh! More wolves, less bums. That's you, you mean fewer? Yeah. You're um, right. uh, <laughs> what I like to do is just correct the. Uh, corrected delivery rather than solve the problem. That's what we like to do here on the show. Uh, right now, the Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by BetterHelp. It can be easy to ignore uh, sometimes what's going on in your life. Uh, maybe you have trouble with uh, social gatherings or whatever it is. Uh, maybe a little bit of therapy could be very helpful. And BetterHelp has created a better way to access therapy. Well, the way it works is you um, you fill out a questionnaire and you will be uh, you will be linked to one of uh, 35,000 plus therapists. And by the way, if they want to switch therapists anytime, you can free of charge. And the, uh, the, the thing here is you get to do the therapy online. So it's a lot more convenient. You don't have to leave what you're doing. You don't have to get in your car. You don't have to get in a bus. You do the therapy wherever you are where it's convenient for you in a private place that works for you. And uh, it's all about, uh, really about flexibility. And you can also do the therapy just like a phone call. You can do it like a Zoom call where you can see the person. Or you can do it uh, texting back and forth. Again, whatever works best for you. Give BetterHelp a try. Like I said, entirely online and, of course, very, very flexible. So you can look for your social sweet spot. Once again, with BetterHelp, here's how you do it. Uh, you go to BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. The slash BT Show part will give... Uh, would take, I should say, 10% off that first month. So it's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp.com slash B-T show. That's BetterHelp.com slash B-T show. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. And this por portion of the Bob and Tom Show is brought to you by BetterHelp. Coming up, we got a history lesson to learn here. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the... Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcasts. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. 
Josh, what's wrong? My back is sore, my legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look, nothing. Ah, uh, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. All see right. you later, buddy. Give it a... Oh. Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. Oh, oh, Josh, Josh, did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific. <laughs> See me. you later. <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more.
different, though. Mm -hmm. You're married. It's not that I'm, like, bitter or anything. It's just I wish I could have rehearsed for living with someone that I was in love with. Mm -hmm. Different than even a, a regular roommate, because you move in, you're in love, and then the rules come out. Rules for the bathroom, the kitchen, the sweet and low. You know, it's like you get the feeling you don't get divorced because the thrill is gone. It's because you don't know how to stack the tapes right underneath the VCR. It's because <laughs> you put the spoon in the fork slot of the silverware drawer after having been repeatedly warned. <laughs> You know I mean? Daryl Hammond, uh, disgruntled <laughs> former husband and uh, New Yorker is our guest. You're a very well-dressed man. I can't uh, notice that. This is about a $27. Part of my new line of men's clothing for divorce guys called, that's clean. <laughs> a tradition unlike any other. Oh, 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 oh God. <laughs> the Masturbators. This weekend on CBS. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. This is hot. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Post eclipse version, wrapping everything up. Our next eclipse scheduled for this afternoon. Uh, 3.30. 3.30? 3.30. Look forward to it. It's uh, post, yeah. e post eclipse elliptic. Post eclipse elliptic. <laughs> that sounds like a good thing. Yeah. Uh, okay. Time now for today in history. Doing a quiz here. Big day. Yeah, this is a this is a cool one. In 1959, NASA introduced the first astronauts. Mm -hmm. The famous We Seven. And um, I'm going to give you, uh, I'll give you their names, but I want to see if you can remember the nickname of one of them. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I can give them all nicknames if you'd like. No, no, no. You don't have to give them. They, uh, I'll, here okay. we go. Scott Carpenter. Uh, Scooey. Uh, L. Gordon Cooper, Jr. Gordo. John Glenn. Uh, uh, Stash. Uh, uh, Gordon Cooper was Gordo. You got there. Yeah. Um, here's an easy one. Virgil Grissom. Moolah. G Gus. Gus, thank you. Gus. Walter Shira Jr. Wally. Alan Shepard Jr. Chep. Uh, and uh, Dyke. Donald Slayton. Deke. 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 That Dyke and Deke. Yeah. Deke. They went together like Deke. peanut butter and jelly. Mm -hmm. Deke Slayton, who uh, had a heart murmur and didn't go up for a while, but eventually got he into space. He did get to go up, yeah. Yeah, they and put the. Uh, they're looking for astronauts right now, you know, by the way. Uh huh. Really? Seriously. I mean, yeah, they have a whole space yeah, core now. They have a no, but I mean they have a. Uh, the, the, there's a cycle in which they the applications. I think they're being taken. I want to say till the end of this month, maybe. Oh, I'm totally serious. I believe it. Uh, How you, are you aware of this? I was reading about it. That's what happens when you read. <laughs> find out things. Well, I was afraid they might have asked you to be on some board to pick astronauts no, 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 no. or something. But they're looking for uh, you weaseled your all way kinds in. of different people. They don't just want uh, jet pilots because well, these guys were all jet pilots. Capable people. <laughs> so, it's a different ball game. They're looking for all kinds of folks. Now. But yeah, it's serious. You can apply to be an astronaut. Mm -hmm. the, I know there's a graduating class coming up real soon, so kind of fun. Uh, the Right Stuff, great movie, right? Wouldn't you, if you were an astronaut, make a point of saying you're an ass... Or not First of all, I time. would never have anything. Of, what is it? Having the right stuff? I don't have it. The first you don't know. Like, they want everybody. No, no, no. Don't you think they need somebody? Out, would kill me out there, uh, up there to help them do everything. And you know, you know how to do everything. Josh, your thoughts? Could you be an astronaut? I don't think so. I think I'd puke a lot. Yeah, yeah. I used to be uh, non-affected uh, by, by motion, but not now, man. Whew, they say the stuff that. in your ear hardens and yeah. before you get, yeah. Is that why you can't ro ride roller coasters anymore? Yeah. Mm. The what? fluid in your ear hardens yeah. as you age. Your ear gets you hard. Get less That's what makes you ugh. more nauseated. Right. Well, uh, in any event, uh, that was class one of the uh, great astronauts. And I think, are they all deceased now? All, the, the answer, all those yeah. guys? I don't know the answer either. I think they are. Um, let's move on here. Uh, Parks and Rec debuted on NBC 2009. Ah, Amy. I've never seen it. What? Yeah, I never watched that oh, one. Oh, I like that show. I watched uh, a couple of the episodes first season, did not care for it. I know, it was popular. Yeah. Didn't go back. Uh, My kids loved it. Uh, we watched it a uh, lot. People who like the show tend to not watch the first season, I have been told. Oh, really? With the first season, apparently, it got a lot better in mm. season two. I know ten people who like the show never... Shut up about it. I know that. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. may that might be why I never saw it. Yeah, that probably is. Mm. Yeah. yeah, could be. Um, happy birthday, the late Hugh Hefner. Now, what was his nickname, Christy? Hef. Hef. Captain. 
I didn't say you this time. Okay. I, I learned. Sort of. What about his cat and hat? Yeah, he his, his uh, he, he's become kind of more and more creepy in death. A lot of stories have come out. Well, a lot of people want to talk a lot of crap about people once they're dead. Uh, but Hef had some issues, apparently. Of course he did. Poor I he mean, um, how about this? This here's an easy one for you, Christy. Born in 1932, Carl Perkins, most associated with what footwear? Blue suede shoes. Blue suede shoes. Thank you very much. <laughs> he didn't want anybody stepping on his blue, his blue suede, suede shoes. shoes. No. I feel the same about my aunt Clouds. Oh, Please don't step on my shoes. Happy my birthday feet. to my nephew Happy. Eric. Big four zero. Oh. Wow. Hmm. Time flies. Wow. And the aforementioned Cynthia Nixon, born in nineteen sixty six, not related to Richard Nixon, but famous for the show Sex in the City. I yep. Know. I don't know uh, with that. the relentlessly bad haircuts that she was forced to have. <laughs> I don't think she was all forced. The, all the attention was on, you know, who? Sarah Jessica Parker. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Never uh, saw one episode of that show. You didn't? Nope. Oh. I like it. <laughs> I'm a fan. Mario Cantone, very funny. I love Mario Cantone. Um, Albert Hammond Jr., guitarist for The Strokes. Great band. Oh, I thought it never rains in South, Southern California. What is it? What's his name? <laughs> Albert Hammond Jr.? Yeah. It never rains in California. Isn't that Albert Hammond? Uh, oh, is that his son? I don't know. Oh. Albert Hammond Jr. I don't know. Um, Look and, it up. Uh, happy birthday, 1999. Little Nas X. You may oh. recall Little Nas's one through nine. <laughs> <laughs> Not that good, but Little Nas 10. He's the big one. Things we learned, uh, our crane operator emailed us. He's retired from his job, but he is alive and well. Oh, good. 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 Yeah. good. Everything's fine. Uh, my life has been changed because I saw the total solar eclipse yesterday. It was absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't believe it. I, I'm going to I'm going to travel to the next one. See it again. I'm going to go get some popcorn and do it upright this All time. All right. Uh, Christy was on a horse farm with another one of her close personal friends who watched the <laughs> eclipse. Uh, I did. I, did. I was out in the country, so it was an unobstructed view. Uh, Tom used the term OnlyFans slash Beavage. <laughs> Uh, Tom speeds through school zones, evidently, for some reason. No, I'm not sure. no, that's no, not true. I was, that's... I was asking yesterday when there was no school here, if the flasher lights are on, but you can see there's no cars in the parking lot, obviously there's no school in session. Is it okay to go the normal no, speed? No, it's on? illegal to do that. Yes. Yeah. I don't think I could, I mean, any reasonable judge would... No, not at all. An upright no, citizen. There's no such thing as a reasonable judge. You would judge. be breaking laws. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love all my judges. Vote them all out. <laughs> okay, thanks very much. Uh, th uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show.